Uh, let me change this up to music and performing arts. Yes, sir. Thank you, Honeycomb. Um, so today on the show, you know what day it is. It's beat and greet. I mean, it used to just be Fridays. Now it's Wednesdays and Fridays. I got I to gotta make a little ringy for it, a little fucking humdinger for it to get stuck in your heads. But today, yes, not low. We see you spamming in the chat. Okay, yes. You know who we got. We got our first female guest. Oh, God. Such a pleasure to have this one. She's a base heavyweight. A fucking ball of energy. A good-looking sphere of fucking energy right there. If you, you're, you're in a, a fucking six-foot circumference, which you shouldn't be because it's fucking social distancing season, you're going to feel this girl's energy. Go to a show, you'll feel this girl's energy. Listen to the music, feel this girl's energy. But hey, without further ado, let's introduce the one and only Not Low. With a community rips. There she, that's how she starts it off. That's, She's, how, that's how we do it. That's how we do it that's here. That's how we do it. You heard her live and direct. It's strict. It's strict. It's strict. What, what conversation? I'm just going to say, just right off the bat, you're one of the first people to like nail the walkout too. You know, everyone, I've, I've gave everyone the heads up. This is what it's going to look like. It looks ridiculous. And everyone just sits there like, <laughs> and, then, and then they'll get it. You were ready. You had oh, the fucking bowl we pack. Here in headlights here. That's only <laughs> when I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, dude, you're um, one. Even like the first couple times meeting you, I was just like, I had to prepare for the energy that you kind of bring. Like you just, <laughs> I'm just like, oh shit, I gotta wake up, you know. <laughs> See, yeah, but when I was talking to Brandon about when we were, when I was about to meet you, he's like, he's like, we all have the same energy. We got it. It's there, and I was like, "Okay, cool." So I'm just gonna be my complete self around Eric. Then, uh, well, well, if I'm in the same energy group as you two, then I'm blessed because, uh, you know, you guys, you guys got some natural auras that just like I think magnetize people. <laughs> it's something I don't know. It could be the weed smell hmm, that follows you it's, around. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the gay juice. <laughs> okay. the gay juice, damn. <laughs> but I'm fine. I want a drum set to do that. <laughs> I've been meaning to get that that sound effect in there, and I do have. Oh, hell, yeah, that that, that would be a good one. Where is it? I got drums hey. with the guest, but I don't know where it is now. All right, you know what? Smooth transition. It the time has passed, so maybe it's, next time. It's fine. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you know. Growing pain. Yeah, gay juice. That was a funny comment. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So hey. I said the, the marijuana uh the aura that follows you around and you know that That's kinda what it was. That leads, That's what it was. That that was. That was it. <laughs> but that leads me to the first question too. Like honestly, I ask everybody, well, where does your name come from? And then I think I think in explaining like smoking with you or something like that, someone's like, oh, then you won't be low or something. I'm like, that is that what it means? Not. not yeah. OK. See, it was so it went, I think I was really high with my friend Bryant that I went to that I only went to like festivals in our little group when I first started making music and there and it was kind of like my thing that I'm usually a little too high to keep up with people's conversations. <laughs> and, and so they, he was like, you need to make your name not low because you're always high. And I was like, oh. And then I was like, but I really do like, you know, to be like, not be cheesy, but I like the, the high elevated, like good feeling of energy that my project brings to like beyond the, the weed smoke. I, yeah, I like that too. It's got a little double double entendre kind of thing going yeah, on. Yeah, it's got the parent meaning and then the friend meaning. Hey. No, I, <laughs> honestly, I didn't realize how self explanatory it was until like I read it like not low like that. She's yeah, always I high. I didn't really either when they first said it. Is, it, is there a reason <laughs> it's got the little dot on it? It's got the accent? 
Yeah, he was like, just that'll just make it look cool, and I was like, yeah. Okay, all right, fuck it, yeah, <laughs> it and does. Then, yeah, then I found out that that actually means not lure. <laughs> so like with the pronunciation of the little um, umlaut, it's actually not lure. So <sighs> it's just how I talk when I'm high too. So it's good. <laughs> not lure. <laughs> not lure. Oh my god. So wait, what is that? What um, what kind of accent is that? I, you know. <laughs> I'm really a non-cultured piece of shit because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like, <laughs> I really could tell you. I'll figure it out by the end of it. So where did the, um, where did the pronunciation come from? Oh, the pronunciation? For, yeah, how did you learn the pronunciation? What, did you just Google it or something? Oh, no. Okay, so I was actually, one, one time, I, I think I was talking to, so I forgot who I was talking to. They were talking about, we were just talking about closey and then oh so it's french that's what it is okay oh. now i remember it's french i'm pretty sure because every time i've had to type out your name since like doing this <laughs> i've had to just google oh with the dots like i don't even know what to call it so then the first thing that comes up i just i oh. grab that i copy and yeah, paste it yeah I, I do that too <laughs> <laughs> whenever i'm uploading songs i have to do that on google every time oh my god <laughs> Yeah, that's just not on the keyboard. No, nah, I was wondering, is there a <laughs> shortcut to it? Am I fucking up? I was like, I just don't got time to it. <laughs> yes, they, o <laughs> with the dots. <laughs> so what's it called? Uh, o umulat? Umlau. Um, umlau. 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 Yeah. umlau. Appears in the Germanic languages alphabets. Oh, German. German, yeah, Swedish, and Icelandic. Oh. Are you e either of those or either of those? I'm Greek. <laughs> Greek, 100%? No. 50. 50, My okay. dad's 100% Greek, but my mom is not, actually. Okay. He's just American. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's American. Damn. Okay. And, uh, Damn. you know, I know it's like a big secret out here, and uh, I don't know if you want to spell government names, but you want to you want to give the people your, your actual name or your – Yeah, this is mind-blowing to me. I'm going to give it to – and if you don't believe me, I'll pull out my ID and cover <laughs> up my address. <laughs> it is Basiliki. Ooh. Man Basiliki Manticus. Oh, there we go. I'm going to do it really slowly. Oh, do you see that Basiliki? Ooh. <laughs> Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Alex is an actual name. Alex is like your middle yeah. name? Oh, okay. Alexander, okay. Yeah. I thought this well, was like a, a not loan kind of name, too. You just put it on yourself. <laughs> No. Born again Christian, you never know. <laughs> I know when I told Brandon that name, I like I like shouldn't have. Dude, I honestly, he he's, I think he's the one who told me too. He's like, you wouldn't <laughs> believe. I was say I Brandon told you that. Dude, <laughs> Which I, is funny. It's fine. It's fine. My name's a lot. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, no, I like it. It's beautiful. It's got a nice oh, little oh, mm, that's ring to what it. My dad says who gave me that name. Oh, nice. So it's, I'm assuming it's <laughs> Greek father. then. What? I'm assuming it's Greek then. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes. I had to have a Greek name. It's a Greek one. <laughs> Damn. Okay. And how, how long have you been uh, like in the game? How long have you been producing for? Actually, next week is going to be my third year. Oh, shit. In the third year of the project, too. Wow. So third year of like opening Ableton and stuff like that? Or? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I like, oh, God. I. It's so funny to think about like just going through all that again and I still have so much I need to learn too so it's like whoo it's like ever changing the time has has done that that part of time you know I don't yeah. know but it's it's been really I'm like I did it pretty much self-taught too I did um I did go to school for engineering for like musical engineering that part of it but then my school, because it's a nonprofit school, got canceled. So then I just, I just canceled it Damn. and just, <laughs> just kind of learned on my own beyond that. Because I got a good start for sure. It was um, this guy. He was, um, he was a really good house producer actually. But he was his his engineering super solid, and he's taught me a good bit. Like for the amount of time that I was taking the classes too, he taught me a lot. What um, what and school was it? Out for me too. Um, Oops, sorry. It was Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design. Oh shit! So that's in Colorado. Yeah. Oh wow. It's not super big, but yeah, it was it was, it was a good program, and there was only like there's probably like 50 people in my program, which probably you know leads to why my program got unfunded and everything. 
but <laughs> school, and I was I was definitely the only person there that made electronic music. Oh, really? So what what did yeah, they teach like, then? Yeah. Just like fundamentals of mixing and mastering and stuff. Like what yeah. did they? Oh, okay. A lot of the, like a lot of kids did do it, but they weren't necessarily wanting to you know like produce it like I was. They just wanted oh, wow. to be producers for for people like us, mm. basically. Yeah. Or but like, it was it was fun for the semester I went. <laughs> damn. Okay. So like you, yeah. you just picked it up after that, or was that like? Yeah, because I was really into it, and then I also like just moved here, so I didn't have much to do really because I did, hadn't really started playing shows either. And this is like after a year into producing because I just started producing and like learning it on my own before I did that class and those classes in like that that was that was a very that was a very hard time too that was. Really, I used to try and make me. Oh my god! I used to think when I first opened up Ableton that you had to make it all in the session view. Oh man! <laughs> oh my god! I forgot who told me. I think it was um um well, you know who um Matt Fryer is, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so I kind of grew up in the same area as them, and um their friend Drew that started Wavecraft, and he we were at the mountains one weekend, and we, he had his laptop out, and he start he started doing stuff on it, and I was like, wait, how did you get to that screen? <laughs> and he was like, I pressed tab, and I was like, oh, oh. okay, well, we got a long way to go, but it's it's fun, and so, don't regret it. So how far into the journey was that when you first realized there was a tab button? <laughs> it wasn't over six months, but I sadly want to say it was somewhere around there. Okay, I would all right. Just like launch, launch all my stupid loops I would make and just record. And I, it really scares me to think that I thought that's how people produce. Imagine just like one shot, and you got one opportunity to do it. It's like I hope this turns out good. I was like, damn, I'll never be able to make music that good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I need to get an Adderall prescription or something for real. Jeez. <laughs> Well, I'm like funny you mentioned Fryer and you know that whole area like some like something in the water in the south or something. They're just coming up with some crazy shit, and every time I hear, yeah, they, it, oh, they've yeah. been like I feel like they they've really been like they they nailed their sound really fast too. Yeah, it and, took me like I feel like I honestly didn't really grasp more of my sound till this like past December or November. I mean, like, I liked my productions, but they didn't really have, like, a cohesive sound kind of theme, too, you know? Yeah. And now I've started to notice that more often, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. It's easy to make a song, too, you know? Do you do you go into it with a certain mind state now, or do you, like, um, do you have, like, a tempo that range that you usually I go like with? My, I usually, when I don't know what I want to do, I'm just going to, I just open up. I have a drum template that I save of just, like, for my 140s that I make and just kind of start from there then sometimes change up the percussion but i use that just a lot just to like get some sound design ideas out just to see like the pattern with it too and then like change the pattern with it obviously but like i usually need that because like when i'm doing my sound design sessions i don't really get into the into the sound unless i'm hearing the drums behind it too yeah. i guess so do you the have separate like, oh. separate do you like do a, a pre-production or a sound sound on uh, design day or is it all wind up meshing it's all yeah it's just all one session usually sometimes i have i mean there have been days where i've just spent like hours just like messing with like i recently just got into using corpus really heavily okay oh and oh, i yeah. love it now oh, and it, yeah. it's so weird though it's so hard to like tame yeah. you know <laughs> like once you start modulating any any parameter of it it's just like going anywhere but totally it's new sound yeah but i love it though no it's um like there wasn't a lot of, of videos on corpus too like it's when I was starting, I mean, there was just like a, a couple of a couple people maybe that did tutorials consistently, and then there'd be a lot of tutorials that were just like sound like Skrillex, sound like Excision, you know, like yeah. five to ten producers. That'd be it. Zomboy in the back in the day or something, and yeah. it's like, <laughs> Zomboy, yeah. dude, now it's now it, the, the plethora of like shit that you could just find online is insane. Even on Twitch right now, but do do you find yourself yeah. like you go yeah. back to tutorials I've been a lot? Watching the the black box had some production streams too. And I've watched yours while you've just been doing some like production too. Honestly, random ones, but not, I haven't do it, been doing as much recently for the production streams, but I think that's just because I've been trying to do a learn. I yeah. Guess, too. Like apply it. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I go into those kind of like moods too, and then I'm just kind of coming back out of it and like poking my head into the tutorial world because I I was trying to learn OBS during all this uh, streaming shit, you know. Yeah, like, OBS is a whole other thing dude, too. Oh man, so like in in searching all these like different new tutorials, I realized how much more in Ableton there was since I last looked off, and like even people with uh you know who we're coming up with. Whereas, like, it used to be 10 years ago, oh, you're only going to get how to sound like Skrillex. Now it's like how to sound like Peekaboo, how to sound like X, Y. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh, shit, really? Okay. These are people I want to know about, you know, like people yeah, in our scene. Yeah, it's really interesting seeing those, too. And then, like, I like mimicking a lot of things like that and then just, like, completely changing something with it, like, or adding my take with, like, how I want to do Corpus on it, too. Like, I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's yeah. It, but, it, like, <clears throat> go ahead sorry oh no i was just gonna say like you you know you follow these tutorials and you almost end up at like a, your own path too and it's it's that's how you get your sound too you like you i've yeah. never made i've never followed a tutorial and got the exact sound that i'm, I'm going me either. i like stop halfway through sometimes too i'm like yeah. okay i'm gonna go ahead and go yep yep <laughs> but i mean <laughs> that's go and try. that's great too though you know like i feel like that's uh how some of these sounds get born and uh, is that how you found your sound? Is like a happy accident, or you always kind of went to towards like the the one forty like low kind of bass well, stuff? Well, I guess like I so I started playing. I was I DJed before I like produced. I guess you could say. Okay. So I mean, I wasn't playing shows, but I was like mixed on my own. And then so I guess the more I mixed too, and then after I started playing shows, I was like, I really like playing like. 140 like that kind of dub and then I started making it more because I was like I want to play like a lot of originals though obviously if I want to play a set so I was like I'm gonna try and make this and then that's how it came out and then I like that it's not like completely like traditional kind of style that I do I like that it's my own take on it too so I feel like it doesn't I don't know it just seems a little I don't know I guess obviously whenever you find your own sound just it makes it more fun too yeah, hundred percent. Like I, I really like I, scrolling through your SoundCloud, and especially, um, you know, I was hip to you like before we played the show in uh, Michigan last year. Oh, yeah, that, that was so fun. But I think that's yeah. when I really started. Like, like I'm like I'm gonna play this music out too. You know, I'm just like this is it goes so well with the sets too, and I'm like. I don't know if I've just been not privy or like like you just said you just kind of found the sounds too, but I feel like you definitely have come into your own in the last like um, like year or at least that's when I got hip to it too. But is that a is, yeah? That's, I would say the same too because like the first two because I would just like kind of make any not like well not like anything but like you know I was like I'm just gonna make this I'm gonna try this and then hell yeah but it's fun doing that too because like. But then when I realized what I like playing more, that helped too, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I mean, even like... It kind of hit me too. I was like, why didn't I always just think about what I love playing out? I was like... Hmm. True. You, th <laughs> you think being like, uh, you know, having a lot of shows in Colorado or, or actually having more shows in general has like kind of facilitated like what you see your sound as and like, you know, what works live, what doesn't work live? Yeah, yeah, because like I was, I've always been into truth heavily but like i remember when i played backwoods last year i, I went I, it was like later that night after i played i went to his set and like i was like you know what this is just hitting real different tonight <laughs> and like i kind of just realized i was like this is where i want to go i want to get more in that realm but i like his stuff too because like it's not like it's not just too it's there's a lot of different there's it's pretty dynamic in range too it's not just super low end you know too and there's a lot of weird creativity with it too so that's why i was like i need to go with this definitely this is my calling, I think, this area and, and like not even just sound wise like i meant but uh like even just the amount of stuff you're putting out like in the the last month there was like what seven tracks you just put out yeah there was the yeah, whole ep that, yeah. and there was like two collabs right there was the one with Rekno, and then it, there was another one right maybe with sky sweet oh yeah I was, yeah one with steven too yeah with sky sweet and then um yeah and then i made one with my friend lady kidder and then um that one with vibe emissions and they just like some collabs take me a while but those just like really happen like i don't know we we're just really picking up each other's vibes kind of you know yeah and it finished really fast, so that's why those came out so well too. And like, I love my song with 
the song with Brandon is just so great. <laughs> I love it. I think the he one, he played he, it on he a Sims, and like I was like. I just like seriously heard the first drop in my head right away, and then we just kept going at it after that. I actually didn't like it when I sent it back to him. I was like, oh, this is what I did. And was, then he was like, I love it. I was like, oh, cute. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. Was it uh, a sample, or was it him singing on it or something, too? Or what, I, oh, I, he made like this, uh, it's like a really side trancey kind of sounding synth, and then like a really good build up and had like, he sent like this drop, initial drop with some drums going with like this water drop sample. And we didn't even have any lyrics at first. And then I just like, and then we were just being stupid and thinking about the water drop sample. And he was like, oh, we need to put this sample in. He's like, you know that, um, where he goes, ask not what you can do, or God, now I can't even say it, I'm high. <laughs> ask not what the pussy can do for you, but what can you do for the pussy? And I was like, I don't really know if I recall it, but let's put it in there. <laughs> And then, so he did, he sent me that recorded. Then he wrote he wrote like a, a verse over the second drop, and it just it just flowed really well, and I loved it. Nice. I remember him playing that shit over. Uh, I think yeah, on the on the beat and greet session, I was dying laughing. Just <laughs> just knowing it's called the pussy. It's you two fucking on the track. I, I know. I was like, what do you want to call it? He was like the pussy, and I was like. <laughs> You could get away with it. Why not? All right, Brandon. Oh, that sounds like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I released it, someone would tell me, like, I was doing like, too much until like, well, but let's fucking do it. Let's do it. You know what? Him, this him. Is, like, just perfect energy for us. This song is great. Let's do it. For real. Honestly, it's, uh, you know, he could get away with it, so it's perfect. I know. It's Brandon. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. man. He's doing real well, too, for himself right now. I know. Yeah. I'm happy for him, but. Oh yeah, his vision's really going to where it wants to be too. I feel like definitely. If we would have played that show yeah. at that, uh, yeah, yeah. if uh, where was it? Um, Electricity would have mm -hmm. been a different lineup now, huh? I would have been, you yeah. know, stack. I think under, you know, I wouldn't mind being yeah. under you. Just hey, I'll open up the night. Fuck it. <laughs> no, that's not how it would have been. That's not how it would have been. Hey, we're gonna change you it. Are, you are not to talk about like that. Talk hey. about yourself like that. Sorry. We're changing the status quo, baby. We're changing it. No, every everyone is equal. That's true. Not really. That's true. Hey, <laughs> you I feel, know what I mean. No, I feel like this thing kind of like bounced all of us back to like a almost an equal state, you know, where mm -hmm. we may have bigger book rate, booking agents or like that guy has the bigger manager that knows this person, but like now that there's no festivals, no this, no that, it's like it's really down to like direct to consumer if that's what you want to call yeah, it person to person exactly. yeah that's a great way to describe it and like the sound in general and what you're putting out there and like how much of it too yeah have you been like grind i mean i'm sure it takes a couple months personally i know it takes a couple months for like projects to get off their feet and get released and stuff so is this stuff that you just put out this month was that like a bunch of stuff that you've been working on or yeah, um, I okay like when I went home over to visit my family in Christmas over December, I like made, I made like an hour's worth of music in about a week, which was like, like, Perfect. like an hour's worth that I actually really liked to all the way, which was a big shock to me. Yeah. So I never produced that much that fast. And then, and then ever since then, like, I just kind of went back to all those ideas. I just like put out a tape and then like produced which ones I thought were more ready. And then like, I just kept revisiting them and eventually I was ready to put them out and then I started a lot just because in the same project file actually too just because I would have these other ideas roll off of each other and you can kind of tell that if you notice my original sets the way it, when I transitioned them that they were in the same project file if you're a producer just a little, <laughs> little secret thing you'd be like oh she definitely yeah I get it Oh, I mean, dude, I, I don't think there's a producer in uh, in the world that could say that they don't recycle some of their own stuff, you know? And mm -hmm. and it, when they're in the middle of a song, they're probably hitting a wall. I've done this so many times, and then you just start another project at the end of that project or just take it to the drums or one synth yeah. and then bring it into a new one. And mm -hmm. honestly, it's perfect, dude. I think that's, like, why – that's what I shoot for in my EPs and stuff like that is uh, – like a sense of continuity. That's why I, I'll either release singles or a fucking EP because they're all made in one single time frame or... Yeah, that EP, exactly. Yeah, it was made in one time frame that wow. day too. It was like, it was all that too. So well, the, one of my collabs was kind of um, 
later with uh, vibe missions, but it just really fit the whole vibe. And I was like, oh, we're going to do this. And yeah. It no, it works and sometimes. Yeah. That's what it be on my project, too. It's like a, it's like an album as well, you know. Like I'm sure you know most people don't write a full album, you know, front to back. I mean, I I, I try. Like I think that's what maybe my mental is telling me to do, or I'm trying to tell my mental. But I, sometimes I just don't work like that. It'll be like a couple tracks on, and then I'll, I can't fucking work, you know, like yeah. procrastinating or whatever. So uh, like I don't know if it's good to just sit down and force that shit, but. Like other times, I'm almost like there's too much music. I'm writing too much music. There's like a cheat code. Yeah. Like I gotta slow down. And then other times, I'm like, fuck. Everyone's, everyone's releasing ten track EPs. What am I doing? You know? Yeah, same. I'm like, oh my god, you just dropped three beat tapes in one month. What am I doing? I need to go. Dude, there's some of our peers, I man. Streams like this, I'm like, wow, this dude's sitting like twenty songs within a week. Wow, I need to, ooh, I need to get worked in. <laughs> That kind of thing too. Dude. It's a good motivational thing. Yeah, no, it is. Like the competitive, uh, like the friendly competitive aspect of this whole mm -hmm. thing is fun, you know? But yeah. I think that's where it needs to stay is friendly, just that. Because yeah. once once it becomes past that and it's like actual, oh, whose art is better than whose art, it's like, is that a, is that a game we're going to win? I know. Like I just wish people would understand that art is subjective. Yes. Dude. <laughs> Dude, it is and it, it's tough even for us to to like we got to remind ourselves that too because you know like we're, our whole livelihood I, i'm is this your full-time is this your full-time gig right now um you know it was but it it, it isn't now obviously yeah <laughs> but yeah i was gonna go on a like a little mini not like a tour i guess but there was just a bunch of stops i had and it was working out for me good and i was doing all that obviously before the virus hit and now I'm still getting like, you know, I get some money from streams here and there, but that's, it's not really like the main income right now, obviously. Yeah. No, I've, no I've noticed it dwindle down and everything too, man. And it's like every day I'm still going at it, but like, you know, and that's just luckily that I've just been going at it every day. And I think. No, kept, yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's, it's like a certain level, but really well the, with it. the sets, man, no, I like those are, it's hard to get people's attentions now. Like, oh, tune into my Twitch set again. You know, it's like. Yeah, it's like, please. <laughs> please. It's like, I know you have nothing else to do. <laughs> Come on. For real. Please. Just watch for like 10 minutes. Come say hey. <laughs> I'm trying to get partnership, man. Please. Come <laughs> say it. Please, please. <laughs> have you like, been... Have you been doing other stuff like to supplement this then like in, in music have uh, mastering, mixing or one-on-one -on -one Actually, stuff? yeah, I've done that. I've done um, a good bit of mix and mastering work too. Oh, Thank nice. goodness that, that came through. I like, I just do, I usually do like 75 for a mix and master. Oh shit. It, unless it's like, I don't know. It just depends on how long it, I take the mix down more so. Yeah, no, mastering's that's, that's not really my struggle. Mixing, it's like that's that can get weird. Obviously, it's time consuming. Yeah, but but hey, I mean, if the if the money's right and uh, you know the client's right and proud of the work, like fuck it, it's a nice little yeah. gig too. And like when people give me like if they give me like four songs too, that's why I'm like okay, I'm not gonna charge a lot. If oh yeah, yeah. Bad. <laughs> Especially right now, I just feel bad. So is this like from uh, the Rocky Mountain School? Is this like a like a technical yeah. thing. Oh, okay, okay. And, and it's I've just learned all Ableton stock like plugins and stuff too. So I'm not. That's where I'm, I'm comfortable with mixing and mastering. But but the like when you get me involved in any other plugins, I'm like, eh, I don't really know. <laughs> like when people open up Serum, honestly, I'm sad. But I just use Operator and Wavetable a lot. Really. And I'm like, uh, well, I still can operate operate it, but it's I'm just not comfortable. Yeah, no, I mean that's fire though because your your sounds are so like large and they sound so like new, which I feel like is like a, a serum kind of thing. It's like a they have all the the same wubs that you'd like you're looking for, but they just sound like refined and freshened up. And and you definitely oh. you 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 got yeah, that shit. Saying, yeah, and, thank, and you. No, thank you, dude, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you too. Well, yeah. Shout out YouTube. Dude from Russia. I don't know what <laughs> his name was, but he he got it down with operator. 
Dude. Well, it's crazy too because you know, Serum like you you would expect it to be the most up to date or like the new plugin you'd expect it to be have all these capabilities, but like operator that shit has been the same since I got into Ableton, you know? It's the yeah, same format. And it and they, it, it was really easy. At first all I could make was a white noise though, but like <laughs> now it's cool. Now it's cool. I just make it I'd be like, how do people make <laughs> I'm it, like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like operator, if any anything, is a little bit more crazy than um than like than serum and stuff because of just how basic it is. It's literally just one waveform that you're just like subtractive. You yeah, know, yeah, just subtracting and cueing and everything. And it's like, just wow. like Yeah, I <laughs> know, it's weird. It's so weird. Yeah, to hear you. I'm glad I'm finally kind of used to it and there's still like so much more I can learn, I'm sure. Definitely. Yo, definitely, man. It's uh, it's crazy to even hear people like Vibe Squad and uh, you know, Ill Gates talk about watching more tutorials now, and uh, I'm sure they mm-hmm. li- they they fucking lurk on Twitch and stuff too, because just uh, I mean, Mr. Bill's been doing it forever, but just having him like being able to talk to him directly and ask him a question like, oh, what's this, or oh, you could do this with Ableton. It's like that's so it's priceless at that point, you know? Yeah, I agree. It is. It's, it is. It's crazy. The internet, the world we live in right now. The world we live in. The world in. we live in. It's crazy. <laughs> Middle of a fucking pandemic. <laughs> this little pandemic. <laughs> Just kidding. This horrible one. <laughs> and very serious. Wear your fucking mask. Yes, sir. H- how's it been um, in, in Colorado, like, with everything reopening and stuff? I, I know right before this, we said, uh, you said that you played um, a show at, what, the Black Box? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it was, like, 50 people. And they all sat at tables of like two or four and you had to get, you got temp gun before you walked in to, to make sure you didn't have a fever and, um, everyone, you got drinks brought to you and food and you had to wear your mask the whole time. I was trying to think of anything else. Oh, you got escorted to the bathroom. No way. (laughs) And they cleaned it and stuff because I, I, what did I, oh yeah. Cause I was waiting to get escorted to the bathroom before my set. I was like about to pee my pants, honestly. And it was like it was like ten minutes before I play. I was like, okay, like, man, I'm I really took for granted being able to go pee whenever I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that I was like, damn, this is really hard out here. So like but, escorted in the sense of like, so you don't touch anybody or something, or yeah, for your own and safety? they make sure they know where you're going, so they can keep what they can keep track of what to keep sanitized too. Wow. So they did it really well. Damn. Because, like, I've said no to some things because some things just didn't see, like, seem too safe to me at the moment. But, like, that, it was, like, a 10-minute drive down the road and have to fly. And it was really put together well, too. True. You're that close to the black box? great playing again. Oh, my God. So great. Especially in that kind of – wait, you said it was the patio of the black box? Oh, yeah, it was outside, too. And they had a really cool – it was called a Dim Dia sound system. I don't know if you've heard – it's, like, a really old – it's super vintage looking and it's super low end heavy and but it's, it's it reminds me of it looks like the functions of the 1980s. You know what? Of. You know that little like us uh, the Snapchat filters they were doing the Instagram filters. It's like oh, who, what character are you or what sound system are you? I think that's the one time I did see one of those. Oh, it, did it say that? I Jim swear, to God, I swear, yeah. yeah. That's ringing a bell now, but I've never, I've never seen it, never heard of that up until, up until now. But the black box has one outside. Yeah, they had it outside. It was really cool. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. It, was, it sounded really good. It, I think it's all you needed too for outside and like fifty people too. But yeah. Hey. It wasn't, you know, the base couch that they have, but it was still awesome. Hey, halfway there. Fuck it. It's oh, better yeah, than what most of us got. Like all the way there. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I played a show was our last one together in Denver. No way. Yeah, wow. I was like. Wait, yeah. when was that? When was that? That was um, that was right. February. Oh shit! I think like twenty eighth. Oh my god! So we're like right towards the end of this, right? I mean, right towards yeah. the beginning of this shit. Then okay. Wow. Yeah, because I remember I went to. Oh my god. Brandon Sweet Ass gave me his guest band to Okeechobee, so I went to that, the last festival, and then that was that was. Oh I should have known. I should have known it was the last time I hear a big sound system. <laughs> Dude, the amount of people who are just like straight jerking off to the fact that that they got to go to that, you know, and not realize it was the last one. God, people were just. I know, I forgot who I saw, dude. They're like the last festival is what they called it. And I was like, 
Oh my God, don't say that. Dude, imagine. <laughs> I imagine. Know. It's crazy. I, I was doing, you know, finger math today. I was like, wait, it's July, <laughs> August, September, November. There's four fucking months till my birthday. Like, what the fuck? What happened? We've been in this bitch for like a year now, it feels oh like. Oh my God, yeah, we're almost in November. I'm about, to be, I'm about to celebrate nothing. Dude, so you're a November <laughs> baby too? Yeah, wait, what day are you in November? Third. I'm the eighth. Ah, let's go. Ah. Does that mean Scorpio? Is that still yeah, Scorpio? Okay. Scorpio together, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Causing trouble. <laughs> we, we did get along good for everything. <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> Damn, man. So you you didn't play Okeechobee, right? You just got the. No, I just okay. went because um, Brandon and Nick were playing. Uh, Super Future were playing their back to back at there, and he was like. I have an extra wristband and I would love you to come. And I was like, say no more. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's, he's a good friend. We've, he's been a great friend. Yeah, you got to see him crush there too. That was a good way to like yeah, leave he, off. he killed it there. They both just went insane. Like, and you really can't tell that, like, I feel like, well, maybe just because I'm like, everyone's kind of hard on themselves. But when I first switched to CDJs, it did not go as good as Brandon's switchover was. I feel like he nailed it, like, Switching over everything really well. What did you play on beforehand, Ableton or? Uh... Uh, no, I just did like him. Would bring my board around and play off Serato or silly virtual DJ or something before I started playing bigger shows. But then I'm really happy. I don't know if Kyle's watching this, but he pushed me to play on CDJs. And then he he got me on a show with uh, I think it was Dirt Monkey and Jansen in Detroit, like. A little over a year ago, and I was like, "This will be my first time on CDJ." And he's like, "Do it," and it was like a side room, not like the main stage direct support, but it was like you know a patio room where people were to or whatever. Yeah. But so I was like, "Okay, that's just the best way to do it. Is just throw yourself into it." A hundred percent. Wait, but, so when was that? That was last year, right? Um. Yeah, it was. It was the, the January of last year. Yeah. Oh really? Because wait, wasn't um what wasn't like uh it was. Did you yeah, perform on CDJs? Year, Sorry, <laughs> I'm just not realizing. I was like, well, this year, over a year ago. Damn. Yeah. No, it doesn't feel like it's just flying by right now. And like, it's, I know. Can we, can we just reset, tw- like all get a year back? Like, can we just not yeah. count this fucking year? It doesn't make sense. It's, like, It's kind of how I was thinking about it too. Because like a lot of, the, you know how all these like festival lineups that we're on or whatever, you know, events that we're on are staying the same. It's like kind of like pausing music in a way. Isn't yeah. that weird kind of? Dude, for real. Nah, it's, it's like, so many things it's up in the air. Someone that deserves this, like you know, bookings like more so than. Well, everyone deserves. I feel like you know, you know, what I'm saying, but yeah. more people would be wanting other people on it instead because of you know just the change in sound, how it happens. Yeah, and you think this is going to give us like a nice little reset and just maybe be like, all right, the hype has died down for everything, and it's now it's just pretty much based on like what people have shown interest on. And like yeah. their personal interests, so like you think it's gonna, you think like the the scene is gonna cater to that too as well. Like where I think the underground might be the next best thing, or will I, be the new I thing. I think it. I mean, since it's been doing well with like all of these, like like these streams and things, I feel like have been helping a lot of people too. Very true. So that, that's always. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the the base scene in particular has been like really. Uh, gung ho about this. Maybe because we're all like naturally computer nerds and we just like are used to sitting in front of a computer and tinkering yeah. around with things. But yeah. uh, like we've been really adaptive to this, I feel like, you know, and just mm-hmm. like almost an overload of sets. Too many sets. I know. Dude. I know. I remember at one point I was like, people are going to like block me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't need to like stop. <laughs> but, but honestly, like people were looking for random things to tune into, so it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it shows like a a sense of uh, initiative too on your end, and people like appreciate that. You know, they're like, "This girl yeah. gave us something to, um, gave us some enjoyment." You know, like while we kind of needed it, and uh, if anything, it's kind of our enjoyment anyway. It's like what we've been fiending for, and I'm sure you know, like uh, you've had those when when the sets were first coming out, when the live streams were first going on, chat was going crazy, like it was almost like a feeling of uh, a live show, yeah. you know? Because, like, I'm sure you guys, I feel like everyone just gradually had less viewers because people aren't, 
it isn't as brand new too you know what i'm saying Cause like true. at first cause i would like get nervous like really nervous for playing live stream i'd be like and then i'd be like wow there's like 250 people in this little virtual room that's honestly sometimes more than that come to one of my shows you know for real for real and then I thought, well, that's cool but then i was like oh shit i'm kind of nervous but yeah it's almost easier in a way to talk to a screen yeah you know it's like yeah. ah fuck it <laughs> yeah like oh nobody's looking at me at school yeah <laughs> no it's uh I, I think we're all like kind of like socially angsty like that too just like being uh i don't know we had to it, it got to a point we didn't get into this because it was like cool you know it was like it, learning ableton there's that big learning curve that you're just like you're in it because you want to do this or that's it there's no like yeah. there's no like oh this is going to get me popular or something it's like uh that's not no, really. No, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, if you want to go through a learning curve for that, then you're a special breed. Dude, yeah, that's, <laughs> it's very like, rare. Yeah, I just truly enjoyed it. And then, like, that was kind of my thing, too, because I was always going to shows and stuff. And and I just really needed something else to occupy my, my like, energy with, too. And so just, I guess, just, like, not necessarily just as an attender, but just, like, you know, finding something to do more yeah. so in myself, too, because... I knew like I wanted to be involved with music when I grew up, what I was doing in my career, but I didn't know exactly how to do it at first. So did I you think I'd press buttons on a stage? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known? Who would have known? But like I, I've always kind of gravitated Ooh. towards uh, solo sports and shit. Like when I used when I was a kid, I played sports, and then just the fact that you have to rely on a team kind of sucked always. So I started skating and scootering and doing yeah. like that. So is that is that what you've been doing too? Like yeah, well, because like I, <laughs> so I had a when I played lacrosse when I was younger. I remember I had a shitty, a really shitty lacrosse team. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not trying to rap, but I was like, I was like pretty good at lacrosse. And I get so upset because I was like, I was just like super into it and super, like that's how I am with stuff. Like I was just super passionate. And I remember I'd be so upset after games we lost and be like, God, we just suck. <laughs> I wish like there was like more people that look here a little more or something like but it's cool that it's just like all on you all on hey. you Ooh, with the zoom <laughs> dramatic zoom too i know i was like i, I see that zoom. Ooh. Ready. look ready. at you you see an opportunity and you fucking punch it in its dick right there yeah right <laughs> in the dick right in the, <laughs> right in the dick <laughs> <laughs> i'll cheers to that all right but hey like uh yeah, it was it was doing the doing the team sports shit kind of sucked because you're just like these motherfuckers. You got you got to even wait for them to practice too. It's like why do I want to practice with these jabronis? I want to get better. Like I know these jabronis don't give a they jabroni. Don't, they, they don't they, give a jabroni. They don't give a fuck. You know, no. like. But uh, is is that what? Uh, have, were you in a band or something? Like, is that what led you to this kind of music, the solo well, music? I like I like I played violin for from like third grade until sixth or seventh grade I think it was really and then um and I, I've always just loved um string instruments and world instruments too that's why I use them a lot in the music too but um I mean I feel like a lot of people just vibe with that too so as you really got me like into that kind of this the world base I think that's what it's called okay. yeah world World, world bass, yeah. But I got really into that too. And then I played, I played percussion when I was um, younger too. I was in band and did. I was the snare drummer. You were a drummer. Me too. Hey, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, so that was fun. That was fun. I was, I was a little band nerd. I don't care. No, that's dope, man. Do you ever yeah. like? Uh, do you ever want to play violin again, or like any any real? Oh, if I had a violin, I'd be so happy. Dude. Honestly. I would love to like record live samples and stuff too, and then like, like I saw I've seen a lot of people doing some live. Do you know um who Josh T is? Josh T. No, I don't think I've heard of him. He, he produces really really good music. Um, I'll, I'll send you some of his stuff soon. Okay. But um, he does a lot of live sets with violins too, and it's really really cool. Dang. He's like a heavier version of, of like the style that Closey does. It's a little heavier. For sure. Okay. So like world and world music kind of mixed yeah, with like the dub, world music okay. Too. Well, like the that yeah. kind of vibe goes so well with like the the dub, 
just the base. Like yeah. it, it's like almost like they were meant yeah. to be, you know, truth does a good, mm-hmm. good job of that too. Just like yeah. really, uh, I don't want to say like middle Eastern or whatever, but they got like that kind of, that, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I have to say the little, I'm going to be a <laughs> that, that vibe. Yeah, that vibe. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm canceled. <laughs> they can't cancel you. They can't. They can try. But come on. Every day we wake up and we're like, Lord, I'm not canceled today. Thank God. Thank God. Live another day, man, because they're coming out with the guillotines over here. Yeah, but- <laughs> I'm Ooh. like, oh, shit. I, I stepped on a ladybug yesterday. Oh, man. Oh, shit. If they start coming after not low, it's over for me. I'm done. I'm done. I'm canceled too. I'm just gonna walk out. Rocket. <laughs> Fuck, man. Nah, they're they don't got nothing on you, huh? You're you're clean as can be. I, yeah, I was like, they, I was like, there really is nothing. I was like, I'm glad I'm a good person. <laughs> Like I don't ever, I never person to really like brag on myself. I'm like, I'm glad I've even done these. I'm not like that. For real, I'm glad I just don't leave stuff. the studio, this little green yeah. screen studio. Mm-hmm. I was napping on the floor today, in between uh, the honeycomb thing and here. So that's it. Oh, on the floor. Sleep in my studio, baby. <laughs> I always bring my laptop away from my desk. And like outside the studio. Oh shit! I'm on a PC now. Oh, I can't yeah. do that. It kind of sucks. I know. I need to get a PC just so I won't do that. Dude, I don't, I don't know why I like getting away from my space sometimes to create. I feel like that helps. Like just moving away from it too. I think being stuck here sometimes is not good for my mental health. You know? <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. I'm stuck in this basement. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> And then I, one time I tried to make music outside and bugs were just biting me. I was like, why the fuck do people do this? <laughs> Heady motherfuckers, <laughs> like, dude. I'm going to go, go find myself and make a real good song. <sighs> and no, I just got like sunburned and bit my stomach. <laughs> like, Some homeless people from Denver bothering you? You're like, no, <laughs> no, dude. I'm like, please come me along. <laughs> You're like, can I get that laptop? <laughs> Son- <laughs> They, they have a laptop, too. That's what's funny, too. It's like, I'll be looking, I'll be staying at, uh, especially in Denver, too. I, I wait in between shows, prepare for a set. And some of the homeless is, like, you know, charging their phones and shit. And I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Starbucks is like a war zone nowadays, you know? It's crazy. You can't find an open outlet, bro. They're all taken. They're yeah, all taken. Every, every, everybody using that hotspot. Everybody. Everybody. Don't even try to use that Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I've, uh, you know, but I fit right in. I kind of smell. Right hey, I feel you. Yeah. Straight off the I, plane, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah. God. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. That, I miss everything, but I actually, I kind of weirdly miss it. Miss yeah. that horrible part of it. Me too. The traveling. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> the tra- <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, like, I honestly wish old man Greg was pissed off at me that he's working at TSA at 3 a.m., you know, but, like, I, I kind of miss him giving me attitude about not putting my ID on there perfectly or something. Putting the belt loop in again, you know, tying my <laughs> shoes up for the third time. Yeah. And, like, I, and I got Tim's, so they're hard, you know. Yeah, and then they, like, feel your ankle, and they're like, I got to check your ankle. Like, <laughs> check it. It's all you. It. I got my dick tucked down there. <laughs> Be careful, though. <laughs> like being a being a traveling musician, though. Do you have like a, a a favorite place to play, or living in Denver? Is it is it just fucking home base? Uh, I like playing here, but I really I really like playing in um, Detroit too. That I like Ooh. playing there. I played there like three times now, and that's been good. I really um, like playing at Backwoods too. That was a really cool experience. Like. Just that vibe of that big of a festival. I mean, it was like an it was like a twelve o'clock in the afternoon set, but oh, you know, hey, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was the heat of the day when not many people wanted to come out. But it was so fun. What is that? Um, Oklahoma or no? Arkansas. Right? Arkansas. Okay, Mo- yeah, yeah, Arkansas. Okay, okay, all right. I know where yeah, that yeah. is. Yeah, that was in bum bumfuck nowhere too. Like yeah, up that- in the middle of the mountain and shit. Yeah, dude. It was 
it was a real it was really big it was it, I don't, it's not as big as Bonnaroo but it's like it's pretty big too but yeah I like, I like playing in uh, Baltimore too it was a cool vibe Ooh. too there hell yeah now Baltimore's got a good uh, they got heart for it what did you play 8x10 uh, no I, I want to play there for sure one, that's like a little goal of mine too but uh, didn't wasn't that your didn't you sell out the 8x10 I remember that being like one of your goals you were talking about yeah yeah I mean it was yeah, yeah. we've done it like with uh, Buku and I did it we did it with Ivory Lab too so I don't know if I could take full credit but like it was just uh, no 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 Remember, we are all equal. You, hey. you, you still matter. You, you matter. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll take forty nine percent. Buku could have fifty one. Yeah, you got the majority. Okay, yeah. <laughs> fifty one. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. No, you got one more percent. It majority. was. Uh, I think it was called Creative Labs. Creative Labs. Okay, I don't think I've ever played there. I, it reminded me of like. A really small version of Meow Wolf. Oh, okay. It was really, really trippy things on the inside. Oh, oh was that a Matheny song? Yay! Yes. I love those. I was just checking the the submissions. Yeah, we got actually a good amount oh, of people. Yeah, some new heads in here. Like, look, it's even you. Cool. I know it's. I know this is not you, but it's you. We got some. Oh yeah, that's, that's my that's my silly face. <laughs> in a circle. In a circle. <laughs> yeah, we got two. Uh, you know he's he's been coming in here fucking dropping bombs on us too and uh yeah, he, he stays dropping bombs the rumor was that he's 16 so i know that's not true <laughs> but it seems to be the running joke here yeah he's 16 <laughs> <laughs> i think he was 16 and a half though but i could be wrong okay all right half half birthdays yeah. are important yeah just 16 and a half happy half birthday Matheny. yeah happy half birthday it was today <laughs> I hope he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I see him talk a little bit too, but uh, you know, he usually comes out whenever we bring that little tidbit about him out. Yeah, he yeah he 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 comes out in the chat. Yeah, because last time we were like, uh, oh, I heard your elite was going along with that. I think he was the one who perpetuated this rumor, and he just <laughs> goes. He, and then he comes back in and we're like, bro, are you 16? Because the whole chat was bugging out. We're like, no way, no way. We're like, are you 16? He's like, bro, I'm 25. And Leet's like, he's older than me. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> no, yeah, he is 25. He's really not 16 and a half, guys. <laughs> everyone, everyone just seems to give Joe shit. <laughs> hey, that's just a testament to how good the fucking tutorials these days are, man. You know, you're going to have 16-year-olds making this shit. He he could he could teach if if he does more of these production tutorials. I need to tune. I need to tune into some more of them. I've been, like I said, I've been bad about tuning into recently. But he is a really really nice level producer. Does he do um? Uh, he does production as well. Production tutorials. I've seen him do a couple of Twitch streams. Um, when he was just, you know, not really like having a goal, you know, with what he was doing, just kind of producing on the screen and all just watching the process. And it was it was really interesting to do for okay. sure. All right, hey, I got to I got to check it out. Is it on? Uh, it's on Twitch, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, I did not know. Cause I'm interested, man. Some of the stuff that he's been producing and dropping in here is like, oof, that's some yeah, big tunes, really, man. Really of, I think I recognize some of these names. Yeah. Hey, Elevate. He's from uh, he's from Colorado. Elevate. He's oh, been cool. dropping some shit on us every week, man. He's uh, definitely someone you should get hip to too. Definitely somebody, but um, hey, if you yeah, want to start some, start I'm, I'm some. Interested. If you want to, you want to start some tunes. Oh wait! All right, let's do, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do, you want to oh, answer? I thought, I thought I had to control the screen for a second. <laughs> I thought you like, let's do. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I yeah, seen you clicking it. too. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> oh man i'm fucking screen sharing with her so she's trying to control my screen where do you want me to go huh with this mouse <laughs> so random. stay high not low stay high <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> me guys. oh man does anyone got any questions for her too man come on she's in a prime state for questions <laughs> yeah. the way. ama right now huh yeah, AMA. <laughs> I have to answer the questions too. <laughs> oh man, but um, okay, we got. I don't. I don't see uh whoever this is, immunip immunitive. I'm not seeing you in chat, but if you do have a different name on Twitch, 
um, and you dropped your shit in here, let me know. I just don't want to skip you and uh, this and that. But I see something that not low posted next, and that's uh, in Navy's Oh, yeah, dub. that's my friend Njix. Um, oh, Njix. Oh, my God. Yeah. He wanted me to share it tonight. And I, I was just had to get that in. It's, it's a good one. It's a good okay. one. Okay. Hell yeah. Wait, how do you say it? I've been I've been saying it wrong, I think. Oh, Njix. Njix? Okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, what's his name? Oh, Nick. Nick Giovia. Oh, okay. So I thought it was oh, you N- might know him. That's what I was gonna say from the community. I was gonna say you guys probably know each other, I feel oh, like. I, I like I've maybe I've through, maybe through the base community, I don't know. Yes, sir. Well he's definitely he's definitely came in here a bunch and stuff. I just I've been saying it wrong this whole time, I guess. I thought it was like a play on his his name, like Nick. I thought it was like Eng Nicks or something, but I'm I'm seeing now that the no, N and the G. I've been I, switching I them up. Like, no, it's okay. I was I, reading it completely wrong. No, yeah, they they. I feel like names are so easily like messed up with pronunciation <laughs> with yeah. like DJ names too. Oh, I don't know. I've said a bunch of names wrong too. Have you uh, Have you ever gotten a, a botched up DJ name? Have everyone said your name wrong? Newt Low uh, or something. I just know. I just remember one time someone put my my name on the screen as No Low. No Low. That's kind and of fire. Then, yeah, I forgot who on. It was someone on the the Deep Dark and Dangerous stream. They played out one of my songs, and someone said Nalo N A H L O W. Nalo. Like, like, did they just shout out Nalo? Nalo, and I was like, Yeah, <laughs> sure, Nalo. It's like the Southern way of saying yeah. it or something, right? Like just totally yeah. missed the T. That's Nalo. Yeah. I'm like, you know, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. I can see how you thought that, kind of. And uh, didn't fucking Grizz shout you out or something? Like, um, it was oh, okay. Harmony I, Festival? I feel like it was, it was random. It was like, um, I was doing this electric talk stream, and he, he was streaming, like, right before, like, about midway of my set. And I don't know if, like, you know, he, like, saw maybe that because Brandon was playing that night. Maybe he saw Brandon was playing that night. And he, like, and I I know he's, like, seen Arc Labs. Maybe he, like, linked, I don't know, just linked it over because he knew that, like, he was playing later in the night, you know, and it was during my set. And then literally it went from, like, 200 viewers to 6,000 in a blink of an eye. And I was, me and my girlfriend were like, wait, what just happened? Damn. And I just was like, really, really, really confused. Dude. <laughs> but really, I was, I was tripping out. I was like, that is crazy. And I'm so glad it was like a pre recorded set because I would have been like, <sighs> throwing you off your game. Yeah. I was like, Damn. Yeah. No, I had to freak out for a second. Oh, is that Joe? Oh, Joe's chiming in. Joe. Oh, it's Nick. Oh yeah. Yeah, Joe. we got him here. We got him in here. We got, got him in it. here. Um, wait. So, uh, did you, like uh, six thousand people? I mean, that's like a fucking arena full of people. Did you see any like du- like boost from that? Like from uh, uh, you know your socials yeah, and shit like crazy. that. Damn. Yeah, it was like I got on my Twitter and it it was like all these people that kind of have like Grizz fam in their bio and stuff. You uh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, on their Twitter yeah. name. Like, it just had all these new followers, and on Instagram, people were, like, messing with saying, oh, my God, your music's so unique, and all this stuff, and I was like, oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and then, that, so that was cool. That was really cool of him to do that, like, like, like regardless of just go, linking people to an underground festival, because there was a lot of underground names throughout the whole night, you know? Yeah. I think I played and, the day after. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was really cool, too, for sure. Yeah, no, that's fire too. Because he's like, good man. good man, bro. Come on, yeah. that's that's a good thing to do, man. He's got a nice base of people too, and like six thousand heads. When's the next opportunity you got to play in front of six thousand people? You know, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Literally, just what the fuck? I was like, okay, bro, that's an yeah. arena show that you just got booked for. Yeah. You know, like in the in your in your fucking uh, home base. Turd Ferguson just followed us. Thank you, Turd Ferguson. Thank you, Turd. We love a Turd. Oh man, I I did see a question though for you that um from M says, did you have do you have any female producers, DJs, or producers that stood out to you or you looked up to early in your career, or even now? Like, do you um, do you hang out with the the girl gang or what's up? Is it just Brandon? Uh, well, I like I've like I said, I've always looked up to Closey. She like and like. It, I'm like Rez isn't like my style per se. Like that may not be like the type of like 
but I like that she like really found like her own little sound and that's you know that mid-tempo style like she like she like really did take it that sound into like a whole genre in a way too you know she and kiva too oh okay yeah kiva and she's also like a good friend she always like mentored like i can send her my my work and like progress songs and she'll like hit me back pretty fast for response and like tell me like mix down opinions and stuff too and she like she's she's been a good friend with like she she knows obviously the style of music i'm going for too and she always shouts me out and like puts people on me for sure which is super appreciated and she's just been a good friend through it too and a good influence too obviously yeah no really cool. she dropped a new ep today too that you guys should check out oh shit okay i didn't i didn't did okay. not know she be singing on it <laughs> i don't she think be really oh i didn't know she sings either yeah she sings really good actually I, oh shit i forgot what it's called but she sent it to me at weeks ago i think it's this i think it's called path and night you check out that one that one's really good but it's really good she does like a lot of rapping too which is oh. awesome but path of nine is a really good display of her voice too it's oh really shit good. i gotta check this out this is a completely new side of kiva i'm not hip yeah to. It, it should, i think it just like kind of recently came out with her like last ep last year and she just like pursued it and it, it's going it sounds really good too yeah sounds no, good. it's uh she she's always like consistent in that in that wave too. Like she's got the sound down, and but the the singing thing I feel like is like uh, I don't know if it's like just everyone breaking out of their comfort zone too, and just like maybe their next progression of music. Like you said, you're a, you you viol you have you play violin. Like if you got your hands on one, you'd probably sample it. So I think oh, it's like yeah, I would, I would love to have a violin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I feel like people are just like experimenting more too. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's what help kind of like with the quarantine. Uh, Sub doctor said that he's like I've been I made like a seven minute long song and it wasn't until I played it out he he did one of the drive ins and uh, it wasn't until he played it out that he realized it might be a little too long for like a live thing but uh, <laughs> but I mean dude it's we're going back to what we want and it's an amazing writing a song that long dude because like, like keeping like if I did that it'd sound like two separate songs for sure yeah no for <laughs> real it's really hard to continue and keep a flow to an idea for that long consistently yeah definitely it's uh yeah. it's yeah it's props to him i think that that takes its own like uh its own like art craft too to i mean its own uh i don't know kind of patience too because i get bored of a song in like a minute and a half you know it's like <laughs> me too i'm like, like can fuck. i end this song now yeah Nah, I'm but. just gonna end this now. <laughs> <laughs> and the, hey, that's what happens. And I'm like, all right, you know what? It's art. It doesn't have to be seven minutes. But then I listen to a Pink Floyd song. and I'm like, fuck. Where's my 19 minute long song? <laughs> yeah, god damn it, I'm really falling behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but that's the kind of shit. I, I fucking went to a Roger Waters and, and cried because I'm like, eh, I'm not as good as a musician. I'm never gonna be. <laughs> you know, just like personal realizations yeah. like that. But hey. Uh, we're working towards it, you know? We're working, we're working towards it. Slowly but surely. Maybe I'll start singing on a track. Oh, my God. I was really telling my girlfriend, I was like, if I did that, then they sound like a, <laughs> a smoker's cough from a 90-year-old grandma. Like, oh <laughs> like, I no. Yo, you never know, man. Because I was watching a couple of days ago, we were watching some noise music. And uh, that's that's some crazy shit. Like, just, just the... That's pretty much what you just were sounding like. Just noise yeah. music. Heavily <laughs> distorted. I could be a pioneer in noise music. <laughs> Ooh. You'd be oh top of the top of the line. Creme de la creme. Sorry guys, I'm just exploring things. <laughs> <laughs> this is noise. And then go gospel. Go full Kanye and go gospel yeah. next. Fuck yeah, it. I'm just, <laughs> full on <the> Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't mean any disrespect. That might be how you get canceled. We co exist in this world. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and you're, you said you're from uh, the South, right? I didn't know that actually about yeah. you. Yeah. Where? where uh, oh, God, the South. South Carolina? Yeah, South Carolina. South Carolina. South Cackalacky. South Cackalacky. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been in Colorado? Um, I've been here. This is my third summer now. Oh, shit. Sure, so, okay. Yeah. I, I moved here when I... Uh, yeah, how old was I? 22 ish, 22 and a half. Yeah, <laughs> 23, something like that. <laughs> oh, damn. And uh, I'm super happy. I just really wanted a big change of scenery, and 
it, I just really wasn't seeing a lot of networking and linking that would help me progress well in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, it's like, it's not really like a hub for the scene, kind of like, you know, if you're in a big city like, you know, New York or Denver, obviously, you know, San Francisco, there's a lot of big, and, you know, Portland, and there's a lot of big hubs like that. So it really does help you with like linking with people that you can meet to show your stuff to and they can try and help you like, you know, plug you in right directions and stuff. Like, like, do you think it being a small network in Charleston kind of helped in a certain way too? Like, uh, you just knowing pretty much everybody then like, are you friends with Fryer and, uh, like the yeah, whole yeah, yeah, squad? Yeah, we're, okay. Yeah, we're but Not like, like, I didn't, I didn't like grow up with them or anything, but yeah, they're, they're, they're friends of mine for sure. Love them. Is it because like you guys come from the same area or it yeah, didn't happen we after? We all like kind of, we all just like did our, our silly like partying. Well, I met Drew, uh, the dude that started, uh, you know, Wavecraft with them and I just always hung out with them. And then I met them, I'm always like listened to Matt and human, uh, Houston's music, you know? Yeah. And I've always been a big fan of it too. And then I met them, I think it was, because I didn't meet Houston until... I think I played a show in Asheville with them. In and wait, about, who is this? Uh, uh, human. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Houston. I met. Yeah, I met him like a year. I guess it was a little over a year ago. Okay, dude. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they. I knew them all through that kind of too. And uh, I'm seeing it says you grew up with Jordan Longton. Yes, I did. Nice. I did. Uh, I went to high school with Jordan. I, that's so wild that you guys know her. Yeah, I now we go way back. Uh, mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, not as, know, not as far back as you guys, far. though. What? Not as far back as you guys, though. High school. Damn. Holy shit. I know. Yeah, I know. She's always been a good friend, too. You guys stay connected, or is it uh, like. Yeah, actually, um, not like super hard, but I just always keep up with her and Ed, too. And. Oh, nice. And I was, I'm glad they're still together and everything. And yes, they're, they're cute, you know, well, I keep up that way. And then we sometimes message be like, yo, you're doing, you know, you're killing it. I'm like, thank you. And oh. then we'll just chat and keep up with each other. Cause I know like she's had some hard times. So I always like to just chime in when I, if I see like, she's a little sad and stuff. Cause she's always been a good friend to everyone too, you know? Definitely. Yeah. Strong, mm -hmm. strong fucking female too, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I she is. Her, yeah. I mm -hmm. actually didn't know she was from. I, I guess I did. I guess I did. But I always associated Chicago with her. So, uh, and I don't know why Detroit with you for some reason. I, I did you with the South Cat. A lot of people shit. think I'm from Detroit. I yeah. think just because of uh, doing stuff with Mean Mug and everything. That's since true. Everyone pretty much is from Detroit. I mean, well, not Nick, but yeah, not Nick, but um, he yeah, but pretty much everyone is. He's New York, right? Oh. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know why. I just always put you in like the Detroit, Michigan area. But uh, yeah, you definitely don't yeah. got the the Midwest accent, you know. And you got yeah, the Denver that's not vibe. There. <laughs> I, I, definitely, I definitely still sound southern, really southern. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> that's, yeah, no, a lot of it. And then when I drink, it's a real lot of it. It's, <laughs> it's a lot. So. Oh man. I, I don't know if that'll ever go away. Unfortunately. Hopefully not. It gives you a little, little flavor. <laughs> the flavor. That's what we call it. <laughs> oh shit! So um, yeah, if anyone else has any questions for, her, please let us know. We got some music that we could get to. We got some fucking bangers that I know we're gonna be hearing just based off some of the names that I'm seeing scrolling down here. Um, and there's yeah, there's a few of them. There's a few of them. So I mean, we could get to this if uh, I don't see any new new questions for our girl right here. Cause uh, anything you want to talk about, any anything you want to promote for us, or uh, you know, uh, tell us I about really, yourself. I really love my EP and that I just throw out. I'm really, I just really like where how I just felt like I really had a cohesive sound and theme throughout the whole project. So if you want to check that out, it's on SoundCloud, Spotify, all that, all that jazz, and you can get it on Bandcamp. And I'm donating all the proceeds to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. And I've collected about 90-ish dollars, I think, so far. Hey. So I'm just waiting to see what I'll do at the end of the month and just send it off. And that was, um, you released it, what, it was like seven days ago, six days ago, something like that? Maybe yeah, even longer. Friday. Okay, last Friday. Oh, shit, a week. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, so good yeah. timing. 
it. Yeah. Hey. So yeah, I got a little not low command right there. Uh, anyone just go follow the SoundCloud, Instagram, Facebook. Oh. Everything. Not low yeah. command. Let's go. Solidified now. <laughs> 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 yeah, please go give her a follow. She's uh, blessing us with her time right now oh. and energy, <laughs> that aura. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Listen, this, I was looking forward to ex- being with your aura. Hey, sir. oh, well, I'm glad the interwebs allows us to do this and we don't have to wait till the next fucking uh, show, whenever that may be. Yeah. Because I, I wanted yeah, to play some of the- Don't do it to me. Don't, don't even remind me how long it'll be for us to play a show together from. God, who knows, man. 2021, is that what it's looking like? Like, please, no. I know. That's, uh, yeah, please. that's what it's looking like. It's, it's scary. scary. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I listened to this song already, but it's really good. You know what? You're the one who posted it, but we're going to pretend like you okay. didn't. I because, just really wanted my, my friend, I just wanted everyone to hear Nick's new new song. It's good. It's hey, real good. Well, Nick's in here, man. So uh, we'll pretend like he posted it anyway. And you know what? I'm going to pretend like I've been following him because I we're, I just hit him back with the follow. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't following you until now. A lot of people don't even mean to do that, I feel like. Yeah. No, it's for real, for real. I, I, I find like even some of the people that I asked to be on this, I'm like, oh shit, let me fucking follow him quick too. Like Vibe Squad, like I've a hundred percent been listening to Vibe Squad forever. And then yeah. I I go on to do some like market research, like, oh, okay, ask about this, the boom bap drums, ask about the EP. And then I'm like, wait, I'm not even following the poor guy. Like, fuck, dude. <laughs> fuck. It's like I love your music. You're like, you don't even fucking follow me. <laughs> I'm sure you get that too, like the the uh the collab request they're like oh, i love your music i love your tunes and it's like not even a follow you could tell it's a copy and pasted like fucking message you know? yeah. i'm like do you like my tune <laughs> or did you like just i just fall into your algorithm huh, of people you should yeah, follow your fucking algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit okay so we got we got to- we got tunes tunes on tunes i see more people fucking putting them in there so they're just now finishing their tunes just for the fucking just in time just in the nick of time just, oh, just in the nick of time just in the nick of time all right you got it <laughs> all right so this one's called what's good from 424 good. we're gonna hit the studio right now let's go let's get in this stew um yeah, Hey, Nick, why don't you uh, link us your SoundCloud, too? And for everybody else who's been giving us fucking bits, giving us uh, subs, following us, talking in chat, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I've, I haven't been, like, thanking you in real time. But, uh, you know, I've been engulfed in this conversation but with this lady. This is this gorgeous lady right here. But, uh, all right, so we're going we're gonna to start off with our first one. Let me know if you could hear this, too, if this, uh, this sound all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm here, great. All right, nice. Perfect. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta play it. Ready? Hold on. in the gym? In the gym. My trainer. <laughs> Hitting the bag. Jesus, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> dude. You made us break out the fucking Madison Square Garden overlay right at the first, the first drop. Look at this shit. You maybe had to get the vape. The vape. You seen it get thrown oh. to her? This girl got the the hands on her. She got the sticky fingers. Whoop, whoop. Hey, y'all should check out uh, our collab we just released on his on my EP too. He he sent me some amazing work and it it worked out really well with our collab too. Right? We. He is a really good musician. I just loved him. I just love Nick. Okay, <laughs> follow <and> Nick. <laughs> he is great. No, for real, that was awesome. Um, great first fucking song, man. Like Jesus Christ, uh, what a way to start us off, dude. What a way to start us off. Oh my God, is Mad Pritch in this shit? Yep, she's calling Get you not ho. <laughs> Get the hell out! I'm just kidding. Get the hell out, friend. I miss you. Oh man. Get the hell out. She called you mad. <laughs> not low. Not low. Right off the bat. Okay. Not how I mean. Um, <laughs> all right. So, yo, Nick, uh, I think you linked us your SoundCloud. If not, please do. Please do. That was fire. Um, thanks for starting us off with that, brother. Because, yes. Yeah, that was good. Yes, sir. Um, next up. Oh, shit. We got Guy Sweet next. All right, you got all your collaborators coming you know in hot. Him. All your collaborators <laughs> coming in hot, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking Jewel. Yo, I love how she has the O, though. Hey, hey, yeah, the umlaut over everything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the umlaut. God, that's that's annoying. Just, I like that. You should name a song umlaut. Oh, wait. Have you? No. Oh. <laughs> the album name, umlaut. <laughs> Volume one. <laughs> All of them have to have like every song has to have the O in it, like whore, like that, you know. All of them. All of them. Oh my God! Hey, Maddie, though, we've uh, I'm trying to get you on here too. We just needed to have yeah, Maddie, an another either. queen, another queen up on here. We do this shit. She's paving the way. So any hey, female Steven, guest. I really like this artwork, by the way. Which one? Uh, for Sky Suite? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Got the art ready. Just release it. Just release I know it's it. going to be good. <laughs> All right. You want to get into it? Let's, let's, let's get go. into it. I want to hear this it. one. Let's test it. Let's test it. Sky Suite, get ready to link us your fucking SoundCloud, man. Hey, link in bio. Oh, excited to listen to it. Let's go. When the plays a lot, I get in the... is uh right here. Sky Sweet. 
when I blaze a lot, I get in this. When I blaze a lot, I get in this. Let's make this money. Ooh. Yo, let's make this money. Ooh. Let's make this money. This money. In the city like. Uh. Hey. Uh, did you hear that one too? Or was that a new one for that you? That had an effect on me. Ooh. Me too. <laughs> me too. My mid my my groin area is I think you uh muted yourself oh, I on did. my end. I did, I did. They just heard the they just heard me. That's disgusting. I I was just talking to them, telling Chad I had a moist groin area. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I don't need to hear it. <laughs> well, you must get enough of that anyway, huh? No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. I mean, I don't, I don't go into it. My girlfriend's very beautiful. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm sure you got effects on her, huh? You got make her heart flutter. Uh, hey, we hope. Hey. I can only hope. You make mine, baby. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> You made my heart not low. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh my god, dude! All right, yo, well, fucking sky sweet. Thank you, man. Another week. Yeah, that sent me straight to the sky, dude. Psh. I love, um, bro. I love uh, how he's been coming in here every week and just dropping bombs on us too. I think since, uh, since I know people just are bro, violent. He's crazy, man. Is he from Colorado as well? Yeah, yeah, he's he's from Denver too. Is there um is there like a different way you guys approach your the side project, sweet and low, or is it? Well, like it's like so. I feel like I always do like a a deep like uh, my music's a little more deeper, you know. But like, and then he has a, the really good. I, well, I make aggressive sounds too, but it's like a different style, and I think the two combined sound really cool. I just really like how our collabs come out really fast too, like. We've never really struggled collaborating, you know? Yeah. They've always, ideas have always came out really well, too. And I've enjoyed working with him, too. Because, like, some songs, like, you know, like, he's taken the reins of. Some songs I've taken the reins of. Like, we're, ne we're never, like, we're just, like, okay, we're both pretty at ease with how the song sits when we finish it. It's, all, it's pretty mutual, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's the perfect we're way to fucking, good. that's the perfect way to, to start with, a, like, one or two um 
collaborations and then it evolved into the side project you knew right away that it was working or, or like yeah cause we, we, we have a couple of soft we have like i know we have at least five out or so and like i was like i think we should and we we have a really fun style and we play back to back too so oh it, shit nice I like the I like the sound too when we're playing back to back too because we both play like a little different than we normally do from when we, when we play back to back, you know. Yeah. So it's a it's a fun thing to do too. It's a, like a different style for me too. He he's like a pretty like I, I don't want to say it's more on the top end because he is so good at the low end too, but it's like more of like the uh, like the aggressive side of the bass, if that makes sense, you know, like yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah you, sure. you have a nice like su like subtle bass that's still fucking disgusting, and his is like it's like the in your face like you know huge yeah, synths and yeah, stuff, you know. Like, yeah, that's how I was, that, that's what I meant too, because I was like, I, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. That's that's why I visioned it in my head too. I think that's where the name comes in perfectly too, like sweet and low, like it's literally yeah, it's like sweet and low. It's yeah. sweet and low, baby. It's fucking you yeah. know. It's it like, really, the name came out really easily too. We're like, oh, that, yeah, that's it. That's Too perfect. It. <laughs> Usually, when they combine names, it doesn't work out that good, you know. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say that one really. It just it melted like butter. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> oh and shit. This is a gross song. Oh, Let's go. And comic creation. Yes, sir. Oh, common creation. Okay. All right. We got the young sixteen-year-old <laughs> prodigy, and they're asking for your girl, man. Yeah. They're. They're asking for your girl. Yeah, she said. She said they keep asking for me. Dude, in the chat. <laughs> she's a star, man. She's a, she's a star yeah, over here. Emma. You want to say hello? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you her in a blanket. Okay. She wasn't ready for this. She wasn't ready for this. I got my showbiz makeup on. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel you, but honestly, she's it, you know? she's one of the most requested guests we've ever had. <laughs> aww. Aww. From based on what we saw, I think she's beautiful too. Hey. Thank you. No problem. Oh, thank you. You did well. You did well, girl. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, literally she's been one of the most requested guests we've ever, we've ever had so far, so Did, wow. Uh, maybe uh, maybe she should come on the next beat and greet. Maybe. Shout out Keegan. <laughs> you agree with Keegan. <laughs> Just her under the blanket the whole time. Like. Maybe <laughs> green <laughs> body. Hot boxing. <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude. All right. Well, thank I'm you for chat. <laughs> and so is Matt Rich. <laughs> Yo, this might be a running joke. This might be a running joke from now on. We might need yeah. Keegan every every episode. Make a command for Keegan. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're putting you through this. <laughs> I'm doing, no, no, keep putting it. It's fine. <laughs> this is I all Maddie's it's fault. It's it's been lovely. I love you so much. <laughs> love you too. All right, thanks for bringing all these fucking dope musicians over here too, man. Cause uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad they came with the heat. This is oof. enjoyable. They're coming with them. They're coming with the heat. All right, so we got uh, the 16 year old prodigy coming up next. Oh yeah, 16 and a half though. 16 and a half. Okay, my apologies. My apologies. Yo, I got you on that. Oh, I'm already sold. <laughs> <laughs> So much, but this my life. Bye, bye.
Big Gucci sofa. So was that what um Man, that was a certified teacher. Oof. Big when Gucci I had to sofa. Get up and, like stand up for a second. <laughs> That's oh, what I was oh, doing. God. Oh my god, my dog yelling right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, so the groin is not getting any less moist. I'll tell you that right now with all these fucking tunes. Yep. What can we say? Yeah, it's just sweat right now. It's just pure not sweat. Bad. It's not even creepy shit. It's just sweat. Yeah, it's just sweat. <laughs> it's not creepy. <laughs> the, yeah, the dog loves the track. He approves, I guess. Yeah. The, he's, hey, do you want to get on camera, Woods? What's his name? Woods? Woods, yeah. Woods. <laughs> Woods. Like backwoods? Hey, Let's see the camera. All right. Here's the pup. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that freaking pup, huh? He's a little Shiva. Oh my god, he's adorable. Right, right. Oh. He really loved he really loved y'all's track, Joe. Wow. He really did. He was screaming over it. Oh my he, yo, he, the, the chat loves him, man. Holy shit. Hey, this is who makes my beats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let go. Jesus. He's he's the mix down here, you know? He heard that mix down and said, mm, okay, yes, sir. He really, he really liked when I started making more low end music. Really? Okay. I will notice that. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like when I do sound design sessions. <laughs> it makes so, him feel weird, I think. So is it really woods because of backwoods? Or what it was the woods? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh. He's being real vocal. He answered for you. <laughs> he said, hell no. Mm. I am better than that. Okay, Don't give me so my government name. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend Rachel was like, you should name him Bear. And I was like, everybody names their dog Bear. But no offense to you Bear dog owners. <laughs> no offense. Don't cancel me. But I was like, well, bears are in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I call them woods. I mean, I probably smoked the backwoods that day. Oh. That way. I was like, oh, woods. But. <laughs> The name thought process is horrible. It started and ended there. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Lord, that's good enough. He has like 12 months right oh now. Oh, my God. Hey, I'll take it. It works. It makes, you know what? Why He's would you call him Bear? Man. What does Bear mean? He's not a bear. He's a dog. So Woods yeah, makes more it's, sense than I that. Was like, what? He's a dog. Yeah. I mean, if he wants to call himself a bear, by all means, <laughs> my son can do that. But he is a dog. If he wants to take after his uncle Rekno, he could call himself a bear. But you know, yeah, he, can call, he, he loves his bear, Uncle Rekno. <laughs> he re no, he got a crush on Brandon. Oh, when Brandon stays with me, when he comes to the shows here, like he will not leave Brandon alone. So <laughs> he knows he knows his daddy. Oh, okay, all right, <laughs> all right, fuck it. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out Woods, man. He's uh hey, shout out Woods, yeah. Fucking adorable dog. And shout out oh, Keegan. Yeah. You got the whole family over there, huh? Yeah. Woods and Keegan, my fucking squad right here with me. <laughs> and all these fucking beautiful beat people that you uh you recruited yeah. too. Like, I seriously. love all these people in this chat. Oh my I wish God. a lot of them I like I wish I could see you again right now. Hey. <laughs> I know, we're too far. We're too far away from them. Too far. 
too far. Should we get into another Matheny track? Or is that yeah. how you say it? Do you know? I think every week I'm I'm oh, saying Matheny. it differently. Matheny, Matheny. Okay. Yeah. Matheny. I used to say Matheny too, and I was like, oh Christ. shit. I either said Matheny last week or I said Matheny last week, and I was also wrong. So. Yep. Either way, I was wrong. Each week, I'm wrong. I know. It's, I've always been wrong my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. No fuck it. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So we got another big one coming up. With a common big creation, one. too. Okay. Oh, another one with him. Okay, cool. Yeah, stretch your groin before we get into this one. Good looks, Mad Pritch. Yeah. Thank you, Maddie. Yep, she, there she goes. Let's get her in the gym. Stretching out. Ah, ah dynamic stretching. It's important, people. Ah. Oh, God, it's all about the stretches. Here, we'll get into it in the meantime. Here we go. Another one. That was yeah, another one. Ugh. Just I should have like got my bomb shelter ready for this shit. <laughs> Jesus, that was really good. I think you gave me a new idea for an overlay then, a bomb shelter, because some of these tracks, man, they're fucking crazy. No, yeah, we don't need protection, dude. And and you see this thing, like you could see it on the fucking screen down there, and it's. A brick, dude. It's a fucking brick. It says you uploaded this 11 months ago, so maybe it's an old one, like you had time to work on it, but the mix, the master, dude, it's, it looks perfect, bro. Yeah, that was a perfect, perfect fatness of the sound wave. Dude. <laughs> the lines, the SoundCloud lines. Dude, insane. Insane. Another fucking good one. You 16-year-old monster, you. God. Absolute animal. Go with the bangers. For real. No, for real. Okay, so next up, Matheny. Please. Please. Spare us. Please, man. We got a lot of life to live. Yeah, I, I don't know after that one. I think I don't have nine lives anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Not nine. At least... One less. At least one less. And he dropped two I'm of us. Sorry. Two of them on us. Eight still a lot. Eight's still a lot. It's a good amount. We can't be greedy. I'm gonna think about it that way. All right, we made it twenty something years. We still got eight. 
Twenty something years. Twenty something. So uh, wow. do you know do you know who this is? Looney L? No, I actually I do okay. not Okay. All right. Yeah. Um I think they started coming in here when you when you dropped your um wait what, what track was it? Uh Envious? Oh Envious? Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard you sending okay. that, yeah. So I thought it was part of the same squad, like the Sweet and Low, Matheny. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I – no, unless I'm just being really high right now. But Oh, no, no, no. You know what? I'm lumping him in. Dude, he's he, – all right. He's been in here a while. From uh, He's from fucking Sao Paulo, Brazil. Oh, yes, okay. Sir. Oh, oh, word. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Brazilian bass music, baby. Let's so, get it. Let's, let's get, get it. Let's get this shit. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's, let me, let's dive in. Matheny, dude, we appreciate you, man. Your tunes are fucking amazing. Seriously. SoundCloud link. I believe, I believe he did put in his SoundCloud link. Um, that was really dope. That was really cool, dude. For real. Every week he comes in here with some fire, like bass music, kind of like that flow too. Like, oh man. Um, first off, it's dope to keep getting some shit from you, and then even cooler that you're from not even on this fucking continent. Yeah, this is really. I'm definitely. Following your SoundCloud, I want to keep up with all this. That's yes, cool. Please. That's the Looney O. That's uh, Trop Killers. Pasito. That so, was really cool. Dude, for real. I heard shit like that, Paul. Hey. Fire, <laughs> fire. And hey, Looney O, man, please, if you haven't already, go check out Not Low. She makes some dope ass fucking music, too. Thank, thank you, sweetie. Of course, baby, of course. <laughs> but, yo. God. Yeah, that was dope, Ludio. Love to hear. Is that a brand new tune? It looks like it was uploaded like a couple hours ago. I'm looking for the download link. It's not there. So if you've got one, please send that over. Send it know. over. You send that over. That would be a very fun vibe for a set. Yes, sir. No, I love that shit. I love that. Me too. If you throw any kind of 
weird foreign string instrument. And so, hey, or like some Spanish <laughs> vocals. <laughs> what? Spanish vocals be hitting me like crazy, oh, you know? Oh crazy, my god! Crazy. And the chopping of it was real cool. Was yeah, no, nah, dude, killed it, killed it. Mm -hmm. I love the flair. All right, so we got Demcheck up next. Demcheck, you in here? Yes, it was for a contest. I'll make it available for download. Thank you, brother. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dem oh, <check>. thank you. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, let's get serious now. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
quantize it real quick. For sure, it says it was that, made. That really is Wookstep. Yeah, yeah, Wookstep. That's a nice way to put it, honestly. Yeah, that uh, was a good hashtag genre right there. That, okay. Yeah. That oh, hat, is that what it's called? Oh. I love that hi hat work. Yeah. Um. It said right here. I never finished this project. I don't even know what the title of the project is. The drums kind of suck. I'll probably VIP. Um. I mean, yeah, it's, dude. It's if it's made in 2010, I'm sure you fucking know so much more about production now and like even just like how to mix and master your drums and shit too so if you could go back uh, do the project file naming thing is that's a big arc that i think a lot of artists need to go through too is like organization and keeping everything organized in order to yeah. like do exactly this how many songs have you made that you kind of like are like oh fuck i wish i could get back into this or i don't even know what the project oh, files sure. called. yeah there's a lot i've been like why was i not organized <laughs> Like, even, like, I remember one time I was like, I want to do a remix EP, I think, for this one song. And I was like, oh, good thing I can't find it. <laughs> and I, like, always. asked a couple people already do it. I was like, never mind. Dude, it's always something stupid, like, uh, it's like fucking fuck or something, you know? I don't even know. It's yeah, just, I know. I, it's like dude. WTF part two. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's so dumb. Dude. Um, but yeah, I would just say fucking, you know, mess with uh, some of the drums if you can find the track. Um, and even maybe shortening it will be will be dope. You had like uh, some good like branch off sections there that like I feel like might be good. Uh, hold on, let me try to show you. There was like you could maybe cut some of this area out and just bring this whole thing forward. But I mean, dude, oh, that's yeah, I see, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, because that that would, it would have a really good um, momentum too. You yeah. Know? That, yeah, it has really cool sound design. It does, man. Yeah, and I'm sure even now you'd fucking clean that up too. So, dude, the offbeat mm -hmm. shit—you don't apologize about offbeat. That's actually that's cool. You know, it makes the project unique and uh, mm -hmm. gives it its own own flow. It's I fucking, agree. I agree. It's nice. It's nice, man. So definitely mm -hmm. get back into that. Yeah, that was, that was definitely touch back. That's Hit it back. All right, so yo, we got elevate up next, man. He's uh. Colorado, cool. cool. Fucking beat and greet regular, bro. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I think I, that's what I was about to say. I know his name. Yeah, it's not even just the once a week thing now. Now he's submitting twice a week. He's loco. He, that that's what we love to see. We love to see it. We love to see. We love to see. It. All right. Elevate.
Oof, man. Elevate. Elevate with the slow teeter off, too, man. With the slow teeter off. Oh, wait, I think you might be muted. Oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> but I would just say, I really, really like that. That was such a good vibe, too. It was Dude. really good. I liked it too, man. Three and a half minutes, I believe that's what it says. And it didn't feel like three and a half minutes at all. It was like, it kept yeah, you going. It was really fast. Yeah, it was, the momentum was really there. Yeah, man. Was that you on Guitar Elevate too? Because it sounds like something that you'd like totally create. Oh, Guitar on a track I made with a couple old friends. Yeah. I fucking... This oh, is, that's cool. Dude, yeah. he. Uh, every time I ask a question too, it'll be in his the, the information side over here. I'm like, oh, did you sing that track? And it's like, oh, here's a track I sung on. And I'm like, oh, I just. Oh, there we go. That's, yeah, that's actually awesome. So, yeah, every week we learn a little bit more about this dude. And uh, he's uh, he's really dope. Uh, Elevate music. I love how I love the new uh, logo, too, bro, because you got a. F fin uh, f how do you say that? Uh, f fin uh, what's the, when you say uh, it out loud, that's how it's spelt. And then phonetic. that's how it said, phonetic, yeah. phonetic. There yeah. you go. You got another phonetic to the day. yeah. Yeah. So you got the phonetic. Because right fucking uh, sub doctor was just like, he was like, how do you say that? Elevate, change it. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, I don't know. That's weird. And I'm like, ah, it took me a little bit too, but I once I got it, I got it. Now he got the. Yeah, now I get. Yeah, I was like, I get it. Yep, I like it. And then he got the phonetic spelling too. So, bro. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's dope. You. Well, that's a good, and it, and it fits the music too. Yes, sir, it does. Honestly, yeah. he's he's got a bunch of different vibes too, man. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find him on SoundCloud right now. Okay, yeah, it's DB, it's DB something. Hold, yeah, he's in the he's in the Discord a bunch too. So. All right, cool. I'll be able to find him. Yes, yes, Miss cool. Notlow. And hey, guys, if you haven't heard yet, just go check out Notlow. Here's the command right now. Um, hey, y'all sweet, y'all sweet. Yes. Yeah, there's everything. Go follow her on everything. She's a hoot. <laughs> she's a hoot, and she's funny. She's great to listen to. She makes amazing music. She's funny on social media. Thank you. She's blessing her us with our time right now, with her time. So, uh, okay. We're going to go. Trying. All right, hey, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. So we got a thick boy. He's going to move up and queue a little bit because he got work early in the morning. So um, we got oh. – Probably like four more songs after this. So thank you guys. And we got Thick Boy yeah. coming in with a totally different vibe. I know it right off the bat because it's called The Summoning. The Summoning. Yeah, the artwork's really dope, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to be summoned. Let's go. All right. Let's get summoned. Let's, let's do it. Hmm. Why can't I hear it? There we go. Oh, intro's just a little low.
really dope. Damn. I love it. Pick them always come slinging. For real. Another one from the south. Oh, wait. Is he from the south? I'm pretty sure. That or New Jersey. Oh, Dallas, Texas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. The south. Yeah, his music's super good. I've been listening to a lot of it lately. It's super good. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. You guys kind of yeah. got like I a, actually, yeah. Oh, go on. Sorry. I was going to say, I actually found him through um, a lot of like similar tracks from my own. It'd be like similar tracks from mine, you know? Yeah. And then and then I've heard a lot of his like work in progress is on, on your channel like pretty much every week when I've there's always been one of his playing usually and it, they're always super good too oh shit dude wow okay all right so i'm not the only one finding out about uh some sick music over here oh yeah yeah no no that's why i love watching these dude it's crazy man the amount of like mm-hmm. he's got 821 you know soundcloud followers and, and that's no measure of you know any kind of success yeah. or anything but uh you know just in terms of like amount of eyes on the project it's crazy because that kind of sound is like it sounds like you found your your niche too thick boy you know like you clearly yeah. you clearly went into it meet, meaning meaning to make some thick boy wubs you know yeah it is, it is very thick boy wubs yeah he's set out for a goal and achieved it and yeah they, the goal was achieved the goal was achieved thick boy sure. Um, is that a is that a work in progress that you just uh, you just like finished up or what's up, man? Because that was uh, yeah, that sound, was really good. Sounded pretty refined. Everything was there, you know. Maybe a few more elements or like the mix down is uh, right at the break. It just seemed like it lost a little bit of um, the break in the intro. Might have needed something, you know. Yeah, but that's all. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it, it had like I it I thought nothing was playing at first because uh, it was just it was just a bare bones intro. But that could be just a sign of a work in progress. And 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 if you're going into that, if I'm going into that with that mentality, like dude, you're that song was fire. If it's a work in yeah. progress, it's not even done. Sounds like that. You got it, bro. That's, that's what we, that's what I'm saying. That's a good. That's a good work in progress. Oh. <laughs> Cause even oh actually look I'm looking at fucking everyone go check out Nalo's new EP, okay. but look like it's even got a little moment to breathe right here too in the midst of all these thick, these thick waveforms. Yeah, those that's a that's a thick boy song right there. It's it super is. low. I mean, yeah. Girthy, girthy. It's girthy, yeah. I needed some air right there. <laughs> it does, you know, and sometimes that's nice too. You do you do gotta let it breathe after all those thick boy wubs. Yeah. It's like okay, wait a second. You can breathe for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Let me breathe. Okay, so is this an, another friend of yours, Slap Daddy? Yeah, he um, sent it to my um, Twitter um, direct messages, and I was like, okay, let me let me throw this in there. I didn't listen to it yet, but oh. I'm, re- I'm ready to hear it. Okay. Let's go. Okay, he said it's the wrong one. Um, hold on, do me a favor, do me a favor, boss. Uh, send it one more time to Twitch. He said it's the wrong one. Okay, send it one more time because I wasn't in chat just yet. Um, I'm now I'm in chat on the right computer. That will pick up sound. So send me the right one right now. Up in the chat, the rattlesnake. Yeah, just. Uh, just do me a favor, link it again. There we go. Now I'm good. All right. Here we go. Rattlesnake Heights dub version. Bada bing, bada boom.
daddy. Yeah, that was really, that was really cool. I just read that it said it was a movie score thing he worked on oh. that he turned into this. Dude, hell yeah! Is that the Rattlesnake Heist? Is that the name of it, of the movie score, or uh, where'd you get that from? Because I love that guitar, that Western style. Yeah, Ooh. that Western style is really cool. It's definitely kind of like up your alley with like the world music, you know? Like, yeah, that's uh, really cool. It's really cool. I like that. Western's got some pretty interesting uh, samples too. I've been I've been looking into some shit like that, like old. Um, the fuck is his name? Like Char- Charlie Bronson. The fuck is oh, Charlie Bronson. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like uh, Once Upon a Time and uh, fuck, what is that movie? I'm going to sample some of that, that whistle that's in that shit. It's so fun. Yeah, isn't that whistle? That, that is a really cool thing to have, I feel like. Definitely. Oh, this is a really work in progress. The intro is really shitty. I've made this like, I, I did it like the other night. This is like a little two hour session and I... I'm not sure how I feel about it, so I wanted to see what you guys think. Hey, all right. So we got some first yeah. listen, not low shit. Okay. Let's yeah. go. All right. Let's get into it. Oh, he said he recorded that guitar, too. Wow, that's awesome, man. Oh, that's really cool. Dude, that's way cooler. Hell yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Okay. I feel like it's a shitty intro because it's whip. Hey, it's WIP. And it has that thick rectangle. Oh, what, over here? Yeah, it <laughs> has that silly self-master, that quick self-master on it. Brick, it's a brick. It's just a dream. It is. I need to mix it down a little better, but let's give you ideas. Hey, let's do for now. that much of a work in progress too man holy shit dude yeah i like that was done on my normal drum template like i said i'm probably gonna change up my drums more you know i don't know look at it look it's a brick it looks fucking good it sounds good oh my god thank you thank you thank you i need to make make the i need to do some more aqing but then make things a little less thick in that that realm just to mix it down a little better but dude too good any any part of my my the the area down here that was not soiled is soiled now. <laughs> soiled it, soiled it, soiled it. Oh my oh, god, dude! Crazy. Because I I asked you that question before, like you you came out with like seven, one, six songs, and then two singles or three singles this month 
in the or in the past month and i was like that's yeah. do you have any more unreleased and you fucking come with that shit so girl <laughs> yo hats off yo seriously thank you like, thank um, you i'm glad you guys want to like it because i like i don't know i don't know you that know that feeling especially after you just started working on it you're like is that good or i just do i just think it's cool because i had fun making it i don't know yeah, no, it's uh, <laughs> that's always the it's the double edged sword, you know. But if you have fun making it, hey, that's most important, right? Yeah, it, that that seriously, that is true. So did you just find those samples, or like you you didn't play them, did you? Well, no, no, I didn't play them. I put them in the sampler though, and just started playing notes through that way, and then added um, I added a little bit of more of a bit of a clanger to it too, oh, you know. Shit. So you did play it then? You fucking did yeah, it simpler then? Yeah, I did play oh, it. You, you know what? I, I virtually played it. I press buttons and play it instead of strumming it, but it's fine. Hey, it's fine. that counts. Yeah, because I got, I got, I think I got the sample off Splice probably. I don't know what it was, just some kind of sitar sample, and then, and I, I think it was like it was in perfect key too, because I was just like digging through things, and then I was like, oh wait, this is great. Here hey, we go. Hey, no, that yeah, sounded. When that happens. That's yeah, no, that was perfect. That was right up your alley too. Like uh I kinda think of you know, whenever I hear what is that, Sitar? Yeah, yeah. I start thinking of you now, you know. Oh. Hey. When you think of Sitar, think of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Amazing>. man. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> we got... All right, Sebastian Matt, man. All right, I see you in here. Woke Angel, is this what you're going with now? Is uh Woke Angel? Woke Angel, yes sir. Okay, let's go. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Woke Angel. Two hours ago, brand new. Oh, that is very brand new. Cheers into that one, because that was fucking beautiful. <laughs> woke angel. Woke, woke angel, man. If you <laughs> didn't already link us, please link us. That yeah, was that amazing. Yeah, that was really dope. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That was uh, the vibes on that. Perfect description of that too, because it's like, it's like you're, <laughs> it's like a, you're happy, you're at peace, and then e there's so much chaos too, you know? Yeah, I like that picture a lot, dude. 
Um, that's really, that's really on, two, on point with the sound. Two hours ago. Like, ugh, is that brand new? That brand new? Um, cause that's it. Fresh off the press. Dude, it does. 177 followers probably means, like, fresh off the press, too. Like, not maybe a new fucking SoundCloud kind of thing, you know? Three, oh, three yeah. songs. Hell yeah. So, bro, for you to have some shit that sounds like that, three songs in, that's fucking amazing. Um, yeah, my stuff did not sound like that three songs in. No. Like, I, I, oh man, Not Low Before was talking about hitting, like just getting her stride. And I remember like just getting, feeling like I just caught my stride. And that's when I started making a song that sounded somewhat similar to this, you know? Like having yeah. so many elements that are cohesive in a way too, you know? Like there was a lot yeah, going on. Yeah, super cohesive. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, you, that's dope. It still says the work in progress mixed down. So, I mean, if it looks like it's out though. But if you are still working on it, I would say one thing you could do is um, literally just take out the drums or something for like like a little, like right at the beginning, right? Like over here. Yeah. And then when the bass comes in, you just take everything but the bass out and it would just sound like, you know, the bass comes in that much harder. It's actually not doing anything but taking everything else away and it just puts more focus on like one yeah, particular element. Emphasis. You Say that again? Yeah, add some emphasis for sure because that's super good. Yeah. No, the sounds were so fucking good that like sometimes yeah. there was uh, like if, if you just want to point the direction in one way, you know, and the... Uh, the bass is usually that way. So like even if it's just the piano or something, just like let that shine through for mm -hmm. one little bar, you know? And it, I think Yeah, that's what, like how we're talking about have that little breathe area. Yeah, exactly, dude. And like yeah. that right around here would be so perfect because there's mm -hmm. a lot going on. It all meshes so well. But if you have the bass just come in like, oh, it'll wake people up again. I swear to God, dude. Hey, man, great song. Great song. Yeah, super good song. I like that a lot. And I love to see the numbers yeah, just go good. up. I know, yeah, I'd say that's that's awesome that everyone's like, Oh, I'm with it too. And <laughs> no. For real, man. That that that's nice. That's I literally nice. was one of those too. I just followed too. I was like <laughs> Super good. For real, man. Woke Angel, thank you, dude. All right. Everyone coming with the heat tonight. We got uh still up next. Like this demo. Let's go, baby.
that was dirty. Oh, man. <laughs> really good. Dude, still uh, 226 followers. Link us again, man, because uh, that yeah. was fire. What is with the link? Dude, that, oh, man. Um, The synth was thanks to Serum. Oh, okay, that was for the last one. Oh, shit, okay, wow. Well, that one, dude, you came in hard with that second drop, man. That was, uh, that was downright filthy, bro, what you did. Yeah. Um, yeah, is this a demo? Is this finished? The, the wave looks pretty good, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I was saying the same thing. The vocal sample is fucking great, man. Great use of that shit. It keeps the energy up. Like, uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty much ready. If it's mix and mastered, bro, you out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I couldn't tell if it's just because of my speaker, but, like, I just felt like mi- – it honestly probably is the speaker I'm using, like I'm hearing everything on, but like, I thought maybe the lyrics were kind of coming on top of the mix too much, so it was literally everything else, that was the only thing I noticed. Okay. Maybe. All right. Any mix down Super. advice? No, that's perfect, because he literally just asked that. Uh, maybe just the vocals, yeah. It could be... Yeah, um... that's all, literally, <laughs> that I heard. Oh. All right, yo, hey, Glotty, Um It says the link is not working, so if you're in here... Can we get that in? And in the meantime, I'm just going to run that back. Work. Just it's down advice. Yeah, I mean, dude, it might just be the, the the vocals in a little bit, you know, like uh, not yeah. even too much, but it's just yeah, a little bit overpowering. But the bass and everything, yeah, that's that that mix. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, like that was literally the thing. It sounds so great. Yeah, no, like dude. I said, I could be completely wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. I might too. Wait, say that again. I, like I'm saying, like, I could be completely wrong too. Like. It probably hit just fine on the, on the system, but that was just me trying to, if, if anything. No, yeah, no. I mean, that's why people, I feel like, uh, send their shit in for feedback, too, you know? So sometimes I, I just come up slack and I have no idea what the fuck to say. Especially, same, same. like, uh, the, the, you know, that loud ass bass could be hard to fucking mix and you, I think you did a good job with the, the bass and everything. And that's pretty much what I was focused on. So thankfully, we have somebody here. It's got another keen ear to mixing. I, I, it, was, it was just because I've been trying to pay attention more to my vocals too, because I'm not really good with them, so I don't really know exactly what to tell you to do with them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just noticed I've noticed that problem on mix downs too. Okay, all right. No, that's good though. You yeah, know, more research on it personally. Personal experience. That's what we want. Personal <laughs> at heart experience. All right. Hey, well, yo, thank you for that, man. Coop still, I think this is the first yeah. tune you've dropped in here. 220 or something fucking followers. That's insane, dude, because the sound. Yeah, followed. <laughs> yeah, me too, man, for real. All right, so we got Apollo right up next. Apollo bass music. We got. Oh, um, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you follow him? Yeah, I was, I'm pretty sure we're following it. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So, hey, link us your SoundCloud, Apollo. We'll get to yeah, it. Link it up.
I like, I like how you were ending. I thought it was just going to do the fade out of the, the bass right here. But you know what? You surprised me. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was a big surprise. A nice little surprise there. Um, because, <laughs> honestly, like the, the piece of advice I would have for this one is uh, maybe some vocals, especially in that break right there. Because it just kind of like, it loses its momentum a little bit too. And I, I fall victim to that as well. Like, I'll just have a big drop and then it just kind of ends. And you expect people to start back up again right into it. But, uh, Yo, the dope sounds and dope ideas nice too. Pills. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say I feel like I have that problem too. So you know. Yeah. No. And maybe like just yeah, just add something to fill up the air more too. Maybe we could just maybe like copy that same, you know that 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 drop bass and just make it all of a low end just to fill it out more too. Yeah, I'll just, say that. I think it would feel more full yeah. more too. Just start teasing it, like just the low end with an EQ on it or something, or even. Yeah, um, like, yeah with like multi band compression or something like that. Yeah. Like any of those would work. Because it, it does bring, it does come back up in the energy too, but there's like these uh, little synths over here in the background. It's like, it's like an arpeggiated synth, and maybe you could benefit from like teasing that as well in the, that build up period. You know, just start teasing yeah. some of the elements in. Uh, from the from the drop but uh I agree. yeah it was, it was posted an hour ago so i feel like you're just that's still a work in progress super new yeah. and uh bro thank you man thank you just uh yeah, maybe so much. an acapella a fucking uh maybe, like she said some uh atmospheric noises or foley effects or something that could work yeah foley would be cool too for sure and uh, oh narwhal i already love the name narwhal okay we got fucking this one and two more and we'll let you we'll let you get on your way dude the the tracks today have been crazy there have been so oh, many no, I, i'm enjoying it i'm like i said i you know i don't really do much <laughs> you know there's really not much to do these days i'm enjoying this <laughs> well i appreciate you being here too man and uh, i think you inspired a bunch of like new people to come and drop their music and uh that set the bar pretty high tonight too right off the bat there was just like boom Bang, 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 hit us. Hit us. No, it hasn't worked. Right off, everything's been right off the bed. Super you know, good. You know what's different about today? We did the dynamic <laughs> stretching. I think that's what it could have been. Dynamic that's stretching. Okay. I think so, too. Bro. I can't lie to you. That's, let's go. Shout I love when you figure it out. Hey, shout out to our personal trainer. Yeah, my our, personal trainer. Our fucking trainer not low right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm really fit. <laughs> hey. That's why I'm eating a jalapeno right now, a jalapeno popper. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that weed had effects on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we got a couple more. Shout out to Notlo. Go f go give the girl a follow. We've been, we've been spamming everybody. <laughs> go give the girl a follow. Yeah, I'm eating hardcore on camera. <laughs> All right, Narwhal. Dendroid, link us your SoundCloud too, man. Let's go. Okay.
Wow, wow. Dendroid. <laughs> That's sound design on fleet. Yeah, for real. In a, in a t totally different way, like chill, not mm -hmm. in your face, you know, very vibey. Mm -hmm. um, I love that shit, man. Uh, Me too. And, and you, you always hit us with the perfect vibe at the perfect time, too. Like, you know, we get the hard stuff, we get the crazy stuff. And then in the in-between, like Woke Angel, that was like somewhere in the middle, too. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's like uh, you guys cater every vibe. You know, I love I love the different kind of music we get all the way from Brazil, the fucking Denver, the fucking the different selection. Dude, it's crazy, man. It's fucking variety over here, baby. Right. What, what does this description say? I'm so slow all when right. I'm high reading. Holy moly. Wait, which description? Oh, oh wait. Well, I guess the song title. Oh, okay. Oh, holy moly! I thought you were saying I'm so high. Holy moly, V two. <laughs> <laughs> <Well>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Holy moly, dude. <laughs> dude, hey, long day, huh? <laughs> long, long day long doing day. nothing. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, hey, Dendroid, my dream is to play at a festival like 3 a.m. Dude, you're gonna nail it with that kind of vibe. Honestly, mm -hmm. they're gonna be begging you to play at 3 a.m. Man. Yeah, they, that's that's the real 3 a.m. hour set. For real, and and sunrise, it's gonna be perfect for like all times yeah. of the night. You know, you're not gonna piss mm -hmm. anybody off with those kind of vibes. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You really can't. <laughs> if they need help, if they, they're pissed. Yeah, they, it's their own fault. Come on, you can't please yeah. everybody. No, can't. All right, so we got Gladi. It says it says stop after eight bars, but I don't know. And then we got three hundred it, and it says from a seventeen year old. So Matheny might say he's sixteen, but three hundred seventeen. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what kind of level we're on. Oh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Then. We'll fucking that see. That year in time could mean a lot. It could, especially these days. Yeah, these days. These days. days. <laughs> these days. <laughs> All right, holy moly V2. Doesn't have a second drop. Maybe it doesn't even need one. Oh, that's the person it it might not even need a second drop. Um, this this. Hey. 
that that could have been perfect right there. You know, I it was hard enough on the first drop that you're probably gonna re-listen to it. You know, that's, that was what I said. I like the also the what was it the email notification little sample in the midst of it too. Oh yeah, yeah. Love it, love it. I was thinking that was my computer too, because I was write, trying to write shit down on my Trello. I was like, "Oh, did I just get something? Is that a Facebook?" I know. I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, "That was the song." Yeah, I was like, "It was makes it so good." <laughs> if it wasn't part of the song and it did happen to be one of my Facebook notifications or something, yo, put that in the song because that was fire. Yeah, it worked yeah, too well. If not, you should definitely put that in there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's my only recommendation. <laughs> So, yo, link us your SoundCloud if you haven't already, Gladi. Um, yes. Crazy yes. tune. I, I literally blacked out there for a second. I don't know if you saw it, but I just, I whited out. Uh, it was just it was too, too crazy. People dropping bombs. <sighs> Huge bombs, dude. Like, Huge old bombs. Dude, Gladi, insane. Um, it's uploaded an hour ago, so I'm only assuming you don't have a second drop because it's not even, it's not even thought out yet. It's just not even yeah. finished. Um, you gotta give me that. But dude, yeah. If you don't figure out a, a second drop, fuck it. It was good like that. I leave you on a tease. I'm rewinding that, listening to it again, and probably passing out again. Oh, that will do, do spin back, spin back noise. Spin. Oh, you know what? That's on my Trello too. I need to get on that. Right. A spin back noise for some of these hot ass tracks, dude. Yep. yep. And you know what I added? I don't know if you could see my screen right now, but it says bomb shelter right here so that's that's from you <laughs> to do like bomb shelter bomb shelter so when the, when a song like that comes on instead of passing out we'll retreat to our bomb shelter with food and a lot of weed yeah that, yeah food and weed will be fine <laughs> we'll be good dude we'll be fine oh man yo so all right so we got 300 up next 17 year old i don't know what we're getting into i don't know what we're getting oh what did i just do did i download that Oh God! What happened? Okay, you know what? We could just play it off here. Let me know if you could hear this. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Honey, go run up a chick, run up oh, a chick. rapper over here.
Mr. 300. Hey. That was mixed really good, too. Yeah, what a vibe, man. What a vibe. Yeah. Uh, um, for a 17-year-old, too, bro, like, uh, do you do all that yourself? Mix, master, and all that? Because I hear a little bit of, um, like, what, what is that? Uh, clipping on the the 808 just a little bit yeah. now. But, and it was just in the beginning, I feel like. Maybe it was just coming in a little too hot or you have the compressor or a limiter cutting off a little too much. And, uh, dude, it bumps without that. You don't even need to let it hit the ceiling that hard, you know? That 808 yeah, was nice. That, yeah, that, I'll say, yeah, you don't even need to do that with that. That was a really good 808. Yeah, so I don't know what you're using to bump it up. Yeah, I made all that. Yeah, I don't know if you're... Uh, fucking using a compressor or something to just get it all out or using a limiter right at the last stage but um yeah let loosen it up a little bit on the the 808s and that shit will that shit is going to be i think mm -hmm. you know less is almost more too cuz whenever I, my i send my shit to my mastering engineer he's always like turn down the snare and it like hurts me to turn down the snare you know i'm like no but it sounds perfect and it's like no no and then he brings I know, it back up yeah it hurts to turn down the snare dude <laughs> You think yeah. you get it perfect. You spent eight hours on the snare. It's good. It's fine. And then no. Yeah. Nope. It's not. Just to let you know, it's not. Yeah. No. Nope. It never is. So, yeah. I mean, hey, yeah, I don't know. Just it's this is all take it with a grain of uh, of salt. But, yeah, salt. maybe just a little bit less on the 808. And uh, they could bring it back up in post, you know. Mm -hmm. This this lady might bring it, bring it up in post. She might mix and master your tunes if you need. Oh. Hey, if you want, hit me up. Hey. Got you. Like, I got you. Hey, she got you. She got you. <laughs> but you, in, got in like decibels of three, you know, that's what I usually test it out in. I'll, I'll lower shit in like decibels of three, and then if it's still too Yeah, high, I use my magic number always. Nice. Okay, three. So what do you I usually. I do weird when I don't. <laughs> okay. So what do you usually get your, um, your mix down at? Like negative six usually? Yeah, negative six is usually where it's at. Yeah, all right. Just just because sometimes I put, um, it just depends. Sometimes I put saturation on my master channel. It just depends on the, like, it might be too much, you know, yeah, for certain songs. Definitely. But a little bit but, goes a long way. Yeah, for sure. Like, even if it's just, like, at 10%, you know, like, saturation on your master, it's, it still does, like, a little extra oomph on it it sounds good definitely no it's uh it's all mm -hmm. about the little things i'm always usually slamming it from either 100 or zero and it's like yeah where's the middle ground bro come on i, I, I know i'm like 15 20 <laughs> 30 35 and i'll export six versions oh uh, yeah no and it's amazing like like 23 percent and then 23.5 is a whole new I, sound you know so the possibilities oh, wow. dude <laughs> Like, there's the dynamics I needed this whole time. <laughs> Yo, for real. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's all in the subtleties, though. Mm -hmm, for sure. But, hey, yo, I mean, that was some of the best music I think we've had on the stream consistently and different varieties of it. And, yeah, um, super good. I think right when we were getting to the music, Tempo Sloth asked um, – something and then we you know we had to wait till now so if you're in here i hope you are still waiting for your answer i'm sorry but uh tempo is he asked as someone who knows very little to no music theory and just improvs with loop stations and synths where should i start to begin with music production like this so you want to take you want to take that one so where he's saying like we repeat the last part where you said the loop firing loops or whatever well he um makes music like uh honeycomb i don't know if you've seen his stream it's like he live yeah. loop. he'll do you know sing or play piano and then live loop it so um i think he's asking where to get into production like this then like um i guess i i mean it's all production at the end of the day you know but sure. i but, was gonna say that's still like super super hard to do and master down itself but you know i i a lot of um, like Mr. Bill and a lot of um, producers in, in his realm like do a lot of Ableton like templates too. Oh yeah. And then like it's good to just like look at. My biggest thing was like looking at arrangement, you know. Yeah. And kind of like studying different styles and how their arrangements were too. And I really it, it those helped me a lot. I and mean, they usually like five bucks too, and it just really helps you to like see how they do everything and then. A lot of the times they leave like their, you know, dock plugins to show you how they're even mixing it down and mastering it too, which I've learned a lot from. 
as well. Oh, wow. I never even thought about that. Like you're reverse yeah. engineering a lot of these big guys' projects. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm all, all crazy. Hey, no, you're good. Before when one of the tracks was going off, they were saying, oh, Woods is just throwing ad libs on it, you know? Yes. <laughs> he will be featured soon. <laughs> he will be featured soon. Real he sounds of the weird world. Yeah. <laughs> Woods. Woods. <laughs> Well, he's got a beautiful voice, you know, so maybe. Yes, I don't need to hide it anymore. From the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shit. now he's sitting down. He's, he's like, don't talk about me. Oh, okay. All right. Stop saying my name. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny that you bring that up, though, when we get that question because you um, were saying how you didn't even know there was the other view in Ableton. So you kind yeah. of were making music like – He's making music, you know? No, that's what I was saying. That's how I said she was doing that. And I was like, wait, that's, that's super hard. So, like, yeah, that's really – that's cool doing it from that view. So, like, I don't know. It's it's definitely really awesome just looking at those project files, like I said, too. And then that way, like, if – you know, I wasn't really good with making drum patterns at first, too. Like, I would have to look at a lot of, like, I remember downloading a lot of, like, drum loops from Splice and, like, looking at them as, like, my reference track kind of thing. Yeah. And just trying to make drum patterns. Because I was, like, like, I would make them, and then I was, like, wow, there's no swing with these. And I would mm. start, you know, exploring different elements for percussion more, too. Because it's hard putting, a, like, even a, just a good drum pattern together, too. <sighs> It's and even when you gotta when even when you gotta grasp on it, it's like you just hit these walls sometimes. You're like, oh man, I just need to look at one of my old project files or or somebody else's, yeah. like not even to bite someone's style, just to like, you know, just get a vibe of like, oh shit, okay, maybe I could put that right there, or the snare doesn't have to go on yeah. the three; it could go on like a little bit after. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. Like just leaving space too. Sometimes I'd put too much in my profession too. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's easy to do with everything too. Sound design, fucking yeah. drums. It's just, I end up reverse, like subtractive producing at the end of the day. I just put too much yeah, and then take right, it all right. away. Yeah. Same. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, why do I even put all this into this? Like, oh. drum It's always when you, you know, you have, you overwork it and then you spend three hours on one sound and then you take it out and you're like, wow, that sounded better with just the 808. Okay. All right. <laughs> Fuck that sound then. More, always. Dude. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. But hey, it's it's part of the game and I'm glad that uh, you know, you're me and you get to go along do this shit together, you know, and I know, uh, it's fun. It's fun figuring it all out too. So like don't even like be intimidated by it. Just especially right now, like what but you know, there's really not like you have the time to create and explore creating so much right now too. Yeah. No, that's true. I think without with festivals not being around, people feel a little bit less inclined to like make or play certain types of music too, and even fall victim to the hype. Like, oh, that's my favorite artist. Like, w w is it your favorite artist when you had all this time to like yeah. to like listen to them and dive deep? And they are they really just sh surface level? And that's that. It's just cool if they are. We need those type of people too. We need that art, those artists as well. But you know, there's. There's a lot more to be given with with just like the whole music thing. So it's uh, the whole music I umbrella. Agree. So, I mean, it's uh, – it, it is a big umbrella. That's a very good description. Yeah, it's it's brand new. And Denver's – I think, yeah. you know, if, if the, the music scene doesn't recover from this, I think Denver will still be a hotspot for this. I feel like they're so yeah. – it's so ingrained right. in the culture that it's, it's going to be there, you know, whether it's not – in everybody's faces anymore or, or it's the underground it's going to be you know it's it's the hot spot the capital yeah like those kind of event yeah it'll just they're still going to find a way for it to happen <laughs> yeah for real <laughs> well, no, what degrees what degrees <laughs> <laughs> shit man <laughs> what <laughs> beautiful voice dude. i really got to sample that shit i'm not gonna lie He's literally digging at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him in the studio, dude. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> I treat him well, I swear. <laughs> he just wants the music scene to come back too, man. Yeah, he's really emotional about it too. Come on. It's, it's a rough time for all of us, but hey, we're going to get through it. And... Um, yeah, dude, honestly, we've been going for th over three hours now, so maybe that's what he's complaining about. He's like, dude, you're keeping you're keeping my girl. You're keeping my girl. So, yo, I'm going to let you get back to Keegan and Woods. And thank them both for making a, a cameo. 
He just needs my attention, I guess. <laughs> hey, well, I, I I needed it too, so. Hey, you know, right? I needed yours too. Yeah. That's how we got to do this. Yeah, me too. No. all this really good music too. It was awesome. Dude, for real. Great and music. And new people too, which is cool. No, for real. And we were supposed to get up at uh, Deja Vu, weren't we? You were going to be there last minute or no? No, Brandon wanted me to go, but it was not going to work out. Oh, uh, okay. It was not going to work out. All right. Well, I mean. <laughs> if my pocket would have been a little fatter, but, hey. you know, he was like, he real, he's like, please come be my I guess to me. And I was like, that's really tempting. Oh, that's we would have had a good really time. Tempting, but, but, hey, we got to hang out here. Maybe talk a little bit more intimately, you know. There would have been a lot more going on. And uh, I would say, oh, we'd do it next year, but wah, wah, wah. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll just have to throw ours. That's what it's going to be. We'll just have to fucking oh, throw man, our shit. Have our own fucking festival in Mexico. Yo, hey. Hey, that's something to strive to, you know? We'll bring Woods, too, because fuck it. I was going to say, I think I got to bring Woods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, my gosh. Goes crazy when I go out of town. Yeah, nah. So we're bringing him. We're going to Mexico. Yeah, He's gonna be on my rider soon. <laughs> Viva la Cancun, baby. <laughs> he ain't coming. I ain't coming. Hey, so. hey, and guys, hold on. I'm gonna spam the not low command one more time. Um, <laughs> make sure to go follow her. She gave us three hours of her time and uh, just a whole bunch of good vibes. And keep an eye out for her because she's gonna give you a whole bunch of a more good content in the future. Seriously, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep pushing it. Hopefully. Yeah. Hey, we believe in you, dude. Seriously. Yeah, I just want to get a new laptop and I'll have a lot more coming. <laughs> hey. I'm at, I, yeah, I'm at a bad point right now with my laptop. Nah, you're doing good with what you got. Honestly, the songs that we heard from you today, the fucking EP that came out, like, dude, you're killing it. You got Thank Woods you. You get Woods on the track soon. It's over for everybody. It's over. Yeah, I'm real sorry about Woods, y'all. <laughs> hey, no. He just he just wants to show off his, uh, his skills, dude. Everyone else got to shine. Yeah. Yeah, everyone needs their time to shine. Bro, everyone else got SoundCloud links in the chat. See, he wants it, bro. I, I'm going to make, hey, I'll, I'll link y'all Woods' Instagram. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll put a link, I'll tag him in my Instagram. Go follow my Instagram. You'll you'll find Woods' Instagram oh, too. The singing dog. We love it. Yeah. Don't don't ask why I have an Instagram for my dog. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> If I would have known sooner, I would have put it in your link too. You're you're not low command. No, it's fine. It's fine. You know, I, I guess I choose to forget that I have that for <laughs> Oh, selective memory. Yeah, it's selective for sure. Oh man. All right, hey, Alex. Um, not low. Yeah. The, I love you. the Greek name that I so uh, I adore, but I can't. I can't. I can't say it. I don't want to butcher it. I can't even say <laughs> Matheny's name. I can't even remember that one, you know? So No, it's okay. Vasiliki is out. Vasiliki. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. God. The groin area. Ooh. <laughs> All right, though. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. It's fucking three hours, ten minutes. That's that's so much of your time, dude. And I can't wait to play yeah. another show with you. No, Seriously. you're good. I love doing it with you. It was, it was awesome. We're going to meet Woods in person one day. I swear. No, yeah, you're going to see him. You're going to see him. Hey. Hey, I look forward to it. Yeah. So until you next time. You guys will love Woods. <laughs> All right, babe. Love, love you. you. And everyone else, thank you for watching us blabber. Seriously. <laughs> and Seriously. keep making tunes. Yeah, no, for high ass. Yeah, exactly, Mad Pritch. Exactly. <laughs> Not low, baby. That's exactly what we oh, are. Mad Pritch, y'all go to hell, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love her. Y'all please go look at her SoundCloud too. We got we we working on something right now too. It's pretty hot. Ooh, pretty hot. we love to hear because I was standing over that Smoke Tracks uh, tune she released not too long ago too. That song's super good. Oh, dude, I listen Everything to that all the time. Mm. Go, Mad Preach. I'll allow it. Look, I got it. Got flagged. She called you a whore in chat, and I had to. It I had to allow flagged. it. It hey, got we'll flagged. Allow it this time. I'll allow it this time. You're lucky. <laughs> you get one pass. Maddie. It's fine. I, I did tell her to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I love you all on that note. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we love you again. Seriously, thank you. Everyone go Bye, follow guys. her. Peace. <laughs>